the one and only, one of the greatest guests the Jackson Podcast has ever had. One of the most ferocious, most lethal, most deadliest fighters we've ever seen in the cage. Bobby Green, live and direct. Ten yeah, toes that. down. Yeah, that. Thank you for having me, brothers. I like to stop in, especially with people that I really fuck with uh, and I like, you know. I'm like, man, I don't do a podcast probably twice. You won't catch me usually doing it twice. But fuck it. You got my attention. Now we got you three times. This is a three piece. This is the third one? This is the third one? Hey, no, this is number Wayne. two. No, you number did two. the first one in the red, in the red tank top. Where you told Rampage he's soft. You did the oh, second shit. one where you what? challenged two? Rampage to yeah, a fight, two? and now the yeah. third one where yeah. you said, "Let's get it on." Yeah, why? Why you keep? Why you keep trying to get me out there? I'll call and, you and, soft? Yeah, why? Yeah, you said he was soft. And you, you be said, doing that instigate shit, and, there. Yeah, you instigate. They're always Rampage. instigate. Yeah, why you trying to try, try get me in the ring today? You trying to get me in the ring today? I don't instigate. I agree with you, Bobby. Bobby, you had a phenomenal fight at UFC 300. Watching you in that thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. Take him out. Yeah, take him out for instigate. Take him out. What? What? Being stupid. You probably don't know what that motherfucker was smoking like 50 blunts a day. It'll be working and hey, let me see that real quick. Let me see that real quick. Hold up. You got to shoot. You got to pull the trigger to get it back. Yeah. No, we good. Now it works. There we go. I turned it off before the podcast. Oh, yeah. That was you did. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's a... I don't know what, but you always be instigating some shit. No. Always trying to always. instigate. I said, what, what, having what a are we friendly. Doing? What, what, what are we doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm doing what I do. I'm doing what I do. But, I got a Jackson Astro right here. I got to go put it to use. But, Man, he's smoking it loud. Well, flip, flip that paper the other way, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bobby, that's a, that's a real, real blunt, Bobby. I'm a real nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm just keeping it real, you know. I'm on vacation time. You call me in time before I got to get back serious again. I don't club. I don't drink. I smoke. How long you take off after each fight? Depends when they call me for the next one. You know, like to me, fighting is a, is a, 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 a art. It's an art form. That's what I want to show you. I just want to show you, like, when I said it, people just want to say, like, a challenge or anything. I'm not challenging. I'm saying, what I do is just fun. I think you have, everybody tells me I'm one of their funnest partners because they're just the things I do in there, we just have a good time, you know? And I ain't got to hit hard. I ain't got to do none of that bullshit. Shut the fuck up. Stop being a girl. <laughs> I, I, what are we doing right now? Is he, is he smoking a blunt on the Hey, podcast? hey, fucking uh, other people doing their podcast, Mike Tyson, they be hot boxing everybody. Man, yeah, let the guy, the let the one, guy smoke. The one and only, you know, the one and only. I let, feel privileged and honored, you know? <laughs> and he's going to get a contact high by the time he's done. Oh, shit. I'm just starting. I'm going to keep rolling him up as we go. This is, like I said, this is like number five. I've been up since 5 a.m., so it's this, probably number five. That's, that's your number five today? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I mean, I'm why you, why you think that's a good idea to, to smoke that much weed in one day? Why you think that's a good idea, young buck? I don't think it's a good idea. I don't. It's, it's not addictive. Weed ain't addictive. And to me, I think it's the tobacco, because I don't smoke no other way, but lunch. That thing is bigger than Rampage's thigh. What's in that thing? So, um, I think I'm smoking on runs right now. So I think that's a cigar. I think that's a cigarillo or something. That don't even. That's, there's no way that's a blunt. It's a back whip. Is it really? Yeah. Rambo, you believe that? Yeah, I saw him roll it up. You believe it? I used to do that when I was young. I used to smoke weed when I was a kid. No. Never Real seen talk. you smoke weed. I know. I don't smoke weed no more. <laughs> I, I stopped smoking <laughs> weed when I turned 17. Yeah. I always tell people I would never do this shit until I've hit a certain age. Smoking stops your stunts, your growth, you know? I know there's a lot of the young kids that look at us and go, oh, I want to be like those guys. I'm like, hey. Don't want to do this shit, you know? Like, don't do this part of it, you know? Make sure your brain fully develops. I noticed that kids that smoke to young ages like that, a lot of times their brain doesn't fully develop. Yeah. I didn't start smoking until I did it one time when I was 16. Like, I was going to go to the back of this band house with this girl. I thought we were going to fuck, you know? So I think I'm going to get some pussy. And the whole time, she wanted to go smoke some weed. So she she put the shit on an on a, on a, a empty soda can. And she had some holes in this shit. She looked at me like a crackhead, like, like that shit. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I just walked off. Yeah. I never talked to her again. I was like, she was doing some fucking drugs, you know? <laughs> so I ended up smoking like that one time. Yeah, later I seen people on. do that. And then from there, I never smoked again. So I was 18, 19. You but know? you know what? I heard some whispers. Oh. I heard some whispers that, that you be high and training all the time. That's why you forget to put your hands up Ooh, when like you be this. fighting. That's like what, this rampage. 
whispers. 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 I heard. I heard some whispers. whispers. Yeah. Do you train high? Whispers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've been training high. Yeah. Um. Like again, it's an art. It's an art. And mm. what are you painting? Like some people be working on just one style. I'm working on five, six of them, a moving style, uh, uh, in the pocket style, you know, a wrestling combined with the style, you know what I mean, of striking and, and, and how you playing with all this different stuff. Are you playing back game on your jiu-jitsu? Are you playing top game? Are you playing uh, chokes? Are you playing the knee bars and, the, and, and heel hooks? It's all style <laughs> and, and how you can you keep developing this art. Yeah, I saw your I saw your last fight. You and you know, you know my my thing is fighters that don't keep their hands up. You're you you the only fighter that keeps his hands so low. I see other fighters they they don't auto be up, but yours like you straight I'll down. He show us, let me show me. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I wanna I see, see, let me see let me see this impression. I wanna yeah, see this. Holy shit. jorts. Wait, show the camera the jorts first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I did a one slide. Oh, wow, you look good. I didn't even see that. The right. jorts. Right. 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 No, right. you look right. super fresh. No, no, no. You look hey, fresh. You look they like hard, they hard. vampires. Right. They like hard. Late oh, okay. six, the adventure of Rampage. <laughs> 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 right, look, Them boots is crazy. This is Bobby Green when you fight. This is Bobby Green. Oh, shit. Like that? You look drunk. Like, oh right? shit! Yeah. It's the drunken style. Put a, put a hand out there. He put a hand out there a little bit. But then, they, but then he'll block a kick and then go right back down with his hand down there. Like, throw, throw a head kick on me. Yeah. You better not throw no head. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't. No, I didn't. Better not bleed. Yeah, I didn't wash my hands out of that use the restroom too. No, fighting is different, bro. What you saying? What, what's that mean? I just smacked you with my dicky hands. You didn't wash your hands after that? No, because I knew I was going to smack you. Leave this in so the audience sees what I have to deal with. You see this, Bobby? I'm just trying no, to No, this, pay, this is payback, man. He, he be talk, every day he talk about my drip. Every day. I'm glad you hear you. You look great. All right, I'm glad because I believe Bobby. what Bobby say, but Bobby, he be talking about my drip every, every, That's the every new day. Jackson jacket. It just came out far, sure. for friends and family only. Bobby got the new drip right there. That's I know. I don't, I don't got that, though. It's from the yeah, runway yeah, show. Yeah. That's Italian wool. Yo, yeah, Bobby. I like this. It's different. Crazy style. Crazy swag. The whole internet understands and the whole world under, understands and appreciates what you do for the world of fighting. You keep it original. You've said many times on this podcast and before, you're here to keep this thing OG. You're here to be a fighter. You ain't with this whole athlete thing. Do you think that the 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 two blunts a day is is helping you with that? Why well, we gotta keep talking about the smoking shit? I guess so. Well, uh, I mean, we've seen in multiple interviews. Two blunts a day. Two blunts a day. I is, smoke fifteen of these motherfuckers. You know, I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation, and so I got another <laughs> week, and I'm and I'm gonna be training while I'm on that vacation. So I'm still training at least. And they, they don't they don't fuck up your cardio or nothing like that. The the blunts. He said, I got longer now. cardio when I smoke than when I don't. The crazy part is that, like, for the first week or two, I can't breathe when I quit. I can't breathe. I'm like running out of fucking. And I'm like, man, I just did five rounds high. But then all of a sudden I quit. Three days later, I can't do five rounds. I'm like, what the fuck? You know? So I go through this like weird, little weird period and then my cardio will come back up. Yeah, I believe that because, you know, I, after um, I lost my belt to fours, I saw the back smoking and stuff. And um, when I quit, it take a little bit, but then my cardio gets better because your your lung is working off less oxygen than normal. So yeah, it, it you might have a point right there. He, he said fifteen though, not two. I know he smoked fifteen blunts a day. That's, you believe that? No, I don't believe. Yeah, that. I don't believe that. I don't believe yeah. that. Yeah, well, you is, man, if you hang around the right people who can keep up with me, yeah, we are gonna go fifteen easy. Like I said, we're on this number five. This number five. He did walk in smoking one, so that's for sure two I've seen. I'll count that. But, but do you space it out, though? Does space it, it out? Like some time in between? Depends on the, on the moments, you know? <laughs> if I'm bored, if I'm busy, you know? Like yeah. If you're getting bored, busy in the busy. gym, it's another one? No, that's not. See, no, nah, that's like I'm busy at the gym, so no. Nah, I'll be smoking after or some shit like that. You don't take blunt breaks at the gym? Fuck no. Like, I'm going to work and get it done. When I'm done, I'm done, and I'm to the house and... Roll up one before I leave, smoke my blunt and be gone. Yeah, but hey, um, about your about your last fight. What's the name of that guy you just fucked up? I ain't, I don't I don't know his name. I don't remember his name. Jim Miller. Yeah, yeah. He, he broke his eye. He, he broke bro his wrist. Broke his. I mean, God, Bobby. That guy was a tough motherfucker to stay stay without Things tapping out and shit. You fucked his ass up. Did he Man. Did he steal some money from you? He owe you some money or some shit? Nah, nah. He said uh, <laughs> he said some shit like uh, he didn't think I was gonna make it, you know, and because what? we had some bullshit where. It being the fourth time fighting. So with it being the fourth time fighting, he feels like 
oh, fuck, well, what if he pulls out? But I'm like, I took it offense that, bro, he had a opponent pull out one time, and it was like two weeks notice. And so they wanted me, me to drop 35 pounds. I'm smoking like this, chilling, and they're like, hey, cut 35 pounds now in two weeks. I'm like, all right, start cutting this shit down. I do it. I make weight. But after some reason, one of my lungs collapsed. My fucking for kidneys some reason, failed. For some reason. From the, the drastic fucking weight cut. Okay. You know? Oh, not mm. the 13 blunt today. <laughs> Probably that thing's the size of a Subway sandwich. That's a foot long. <laughs> You're ashing on yourself. That's why we gave you an ashtray. Watch the new drip. Jeez. This guy, I can't even breathe. Sheesh. I don't even know where we're at. <laughs> he can't, he cannot. What is going on right now? Hey, my first time getting high was a contact high. <sighs> my dad used to smoke weed. high? What are you talking about? No, you got, you're going to catch a contact high for sure. You're not catching nothing. You're going to catch a contact high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to catch something if you don't chill out. Listen. Ask, what is your, like something different? What is your worst job you've ever worked, Bear? My worst job? Yeah. Mm, I had to pick up trash on the side of the road. For like a few weeks, man. That that wasn't a job you had. That's not like that, some community service. Yeah, it was community yeah, service. I did it to give back. I had to do that shit before. But you did community service, or what is? What you just doing? No charity event, just to give back. But that wasn't a job. Talking about a job that you had to do nine. You had to go every day until you mm. got fired or quit. How long you do community service? You I did a few for weeks, fun, but for a charity, for a how, family charity. So one, one, one one weekend. I did like eight hours a day for like three weeks. It's a job, yeah, yeah, three week job. I mean, I mean. I don't look at jobs like for, for money. I look at jobs for passion. So I, everything I've always done, even if I didn't make money, I did because I loved it. So that was the worst job you could think of? Mm, I yeah, feel like there's, been worse. there's, there's worse there's jobs been worse, yeah. for you to get to where you are. You didn't just get here by coincidence. You can't think of, you can't think of the you worst job? You didn't been through some shit where you didn't been to a job or a job and, and try this and tried that. What, but what, I was trying what, to do this. What's the meaning of that? Is there a reason why? I just want to see what. Oh, I don't yeah, know, yeah. Just ask what the no, job no. Is. I think. Are you saying because I like what I do? Um, I would say more so like, get into it more so like. I'm going to explain everybody to the audience more so. We all go through bad times. Mm -hmm. What's your worst job you could think of? Like, because people think like their situation is different from everyone else's. For instance, yeah. I'll start it off. My worst job I could think of. I used to move dead bodies. You know what I mean? For who? I used to move dead bodies for like a coroner. Like after the coroner would would check the bodies and stuff, and make you come there and pick that shit up. Like what? So he he died, right? Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold on, hold, don't use me. Well, <laughs> he died. Yeah, 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 he died. Yeah, he died. Yeah, he died. <laughs> you know? Oh, Jesus. And so they call us, come get him. You got blood, blood coming out a little bit. You, you know what I mean? You urinated yourself or some shit. We gotta you know, come get you. It's a dirty job. You, you know? had, did you have the little and, gloves on? He ain't he ain't a light motherfucker, right? Why you keep pointing at him? Yeah, 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 what, yeah. What, he, he just wait, is making me. Yeah, yeah he ain't. Not. Oh yeah, he, he ain't light. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we got yeah. this nigga, his family crying and stuff. Stop pointing at him. <laughs> <I know. laughs> what? Okay, let's move on. No, 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 no. I want to. I want to. I want to go into this because when you first saw talking about uh, you used to move dead bodies, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of figured that you was, you and your your crew was probably the cause of those dead bodies at first. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. That's what I was. That's what I was. I was like, man, you sure you want to talk about that on the podcast? But then you said you work for a corner. No self snitching. No, no, oh, okay. we could talk about the thing we heard about him, me and you, the whispers. What whispers? We heard that you drove up to a house party in Fresno. That you were about twenty years old. You were training with some guy. This guy was hollering at your chick. You weren't having it, so you drove from Fontana to Fresno. Walked in a house party, beat the dude, told the girl you never want to talk to her again. Took their alcohol. It was a bottle of uh, Hennessy, and you drove all the way back home. Is that true? This nigga bear be see, lying. See the whispers. See the whispers. This Rambage. nigga bear be lying. He good, yeah, he good at making up stories, he bro. Be lying. Rambage. Rambage. This what did we hear be. yesterday? We heard that that happened when he was 19. Is that true? You know, who, who did we hear this from? Yes. You're the one who told me, that, don't do this. I hate when you do this and you bear. play dumb. Don't. See, he bear. does it. Oh, oh. Me for the get, uh, get it on the real nigga. You can pull that bullshit on fake niggas. <laughs> all that story I'm, going, I'm, going based off the, I'm going based off the story he told me. What's wrong with your eyes? <laughs> There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. For this. Normally, I'm prepared, but we this is just crazy. Get started, bro. This is like a, a hypnotic where, bottle. Where, where you? Where you, where you get that story from? That you just no, that made was up what on the, the spot. Told me. They you, told no, 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 no. no, 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 no. Slicky, chill, chill, chill. No, no, chill. I think that's how he got to the top. 
He been telling these goddamn stories. Hey, he's you a good were salesman. He's a good yeah, salesman. Yeah, he's hey, been were you with me? a whole bunch of dreams. I don't, I, I don't remember. Who told you that story? Last night when you were at Los Lagos eating Chili uh. Riano <laughs> and Chimmy Changos. Were you at Los Lagos last night? I was at, I was with, at, with I was at Lagos. Lossy, right? I was at Lagos. And yeah, we set up the whole Gregor, thing. Yeah. See, like, you act like I'm lying. This is all true. No, he and put some, he put some facts. Us. He put some facts. Now, yes, I was at Lagos last yes, night. Yes, and then the guy came up to us and said, hey, who's coming on? We said, Bobby Green, the king. He went nuts. Oh, my God. I love Bobby Green. The man's invincible. Doesn't respect anybody's hand. <laughs> and I said, oh, you must have been watching the podcast. You see that? Now, now he just keep piling the lies in there. Just He threw this one in there. And what? Added this we just talked about that with TJ Dillashaw. You don't respect people's hands, right? Man, I don't know where you get Yeah, yeah, from. yeah. It, it no, kind of looked like, that. It kinda looked like you, don't, you don't got no respect in there. Like... You, yeah. you ain't respecting them at all. Your hands be like down to your to I think, your I waist. Think it's the total opposite, gentlemen. You know, if we talk about fighting, fighting is it's like, all right. And I was planning to do the same thing to you. And it's not that I don't disrespect you at all. But what I'm doing is, if I'm standing right in front of you with my hands down, you should do something about it. Yeah, you know, exactly. You should do something about it. And so I'm promoting the fight where I'm giving you access. To the opportunity, take your opportunity. I came to fight. Why are these guys not jabbing? Why are they not jabbing him when he got his Vinny hands pulled up? the fight real quick with uh, with Miller. Uh, Miller fought on 100, 200, and 300. And Bobby just, I mean, TJ said we're allowed to use the word pieced up. Bobby pieced up Miller the entire time. And Bobby, it seemed like the whole time you were telling him crazy things. And Rampage during one of the one of the you know fight companions and the post fight recap with TJ Dillashaw said that in the middle of the ring you were calling him. What were the yeah, words? Yeah, look like you was calling him pussy. You called him bitch. Yeah, you, and 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 Bear was like, look like look at him. He's like, he said like eat my ass. I like hold 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 the I, fuck up. I said hold on. Bob Green don't talk like that. See, I said Bob Green don't talk like that. But Bear see, throw a see, slick little lie in there yeah. like that. Hey, Jackson yeah. podcast. You guys are a big fans a of this. You watch this. You know he's lying. Hey, go in the see, Now they're all gonna know. You really be Jackson this podcast. You set we need up. y'all to check all of his stories now. We need to check check him on everything else he said. It all has to be done. Blue book and then let us know what's happening because my man's replacing Vin numbers well, right it, now. Yeah, what was you saying to him though? Were you calling him all kind of bitches and puss ass niggas and you shit? You soft, you I did say bitch in there. I did say I see, bitch. I told you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. soft, you this. He hit me when he, when he hit me once and they thought he had me rock, but he had my foot in the air, you know? So he chased me around. I was like, oh, uh, uh, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you got some good counters too, even though your hands so low. Who, who, but who, tra- is this your own style? Or somebody told you, keep your hands low. Don't pick your hands up. Just stay like this. Um, what I'll be doing this shit, bro, I'll be looking at it like to me, like it's a fight for one. So if you ever go into like YouTube, you tipped in you typed in YouTube, you'd want to see fighting. If you punch in fighting, you wouldn't want to see a bunch of hugging or anything like that. So it's supposed to be a fight. So I need to bring that action part. But also I look at it like you uh you uh like a like a karate movie. You know what I mean? Like uh we used to watch the movies and the motherfucker would do some shit, kick. Tsh- and you look at him, we're like, what the? You just kicked, you, or just slipped out the way and stepped out the way, you know? And so it's slick shit, you know? Mm. It, and it's supposed to be something that you want to watch. Where then go, he want to throw some shit. I'll be like, you missed, you know? You dust it off and keep fighting, you know? And so it's just more so entertainment with it. You're trying to entertain some people. Who's your uh, favorite martial artist? Martial artist. Easy on the audio, Vinny. Jetly. 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 Yeah. I love when you do this, Bobby, when you go like this, when you hit him with this. Like, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, you point. Why are you so pointing? Point so I knew you were going to do that. I knew uh, that was your your plan is to attack this leg. Okay, now I'm going to start shutting that down. I know you want that leg. Every time you go on it, I'm getting off on you. I'm keeping that leg out, out of position so you can't get on it. So I know that was your plan. Seems like you're baiting him. Like you're putting it out there for him at this point, huh? So now I'm starting to look right there, holding the foot. See what I'm saying? It's yeah, yeah. Hold my foot. Yeah. So look. I told him, oh, you got a little little punch in there. Yeah, but no, nah, no, nah, he just he just held, hit you and, hit, and grabbed your foot. And so the uh, this is the biggest parts he did. Those are the two biggest parts of that whole round. Mm-hmm. So he had the first minute. It's I'll give him him. It's him. So now I just have to put it together. I learned what he what. Okay, you keep doing that hook. You do this. You learn about fighters. Once you mm-hmm. learn about what they're doing, oh, okay, I'll break them down now. So every time I'm going in, I notice Jim's gonna come hook. Um, but Jim is really good. At also learning is that. Jim is very good at defense. That's why he's mm. been around so long. Mm. He keeps his hands really high. He opens them up and, and, and keeps them really fanned out there so everything gets kind of muffled so he doesn't really take a good sh- take a, a shot so well. 
So that's why I need to go straight and go right down the middle. But sometimes they get the parry in. And so mm. you got to play this game where I'm like, all right, I told him after the first round, I said, I learned what you're doing now. Now I'm going to switch it up on you where I'm going in the middle and see how he starts going all here. Now yeah. I got to come around the outside of him. See how I told him yeah. right there. I know what you're doing now. You told him, you. you told oh. him that? Yeah, I know what you're doing. I understand what you're doing. Because I'm like, man, I'm having trouble hitting him. He's muffing my shots. Like, he'll keep covering up like that, you know? So I slide him in between. I'll go bow on body, bring his hands down some. Then come back up to his head. I need to change up these. Look, so now I'm going low. So now open up. Look, now I'm going to start getting, okay, you don't want to go down? I'll put the side kick up. Now I'm coming around the outside of his hands. So I'm going to keep going different ways to find that, that opening right there. Now I'll go back down the middle. And so it, it's just changing. I constantly keep changing the styles on what I'm doing, what I'm attacking, and how I'm timing it. I'm going off of his timing there. Yeah, I see. Where, you, I see you throwing some good counters. He's coming in, and you, I'm not just hitting; I'm yeah. kicking him too. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he's getting punched and kicked. You give him like a three piece. He got hit in between. <laughs> a lot of guys don't understand this. This really this swallow sweet science is right before we come together. Watch this right before. Right before we come. Right before we come. Right before we come. Y'all came together a few times. Right here, huh? watch this. Right. We got somebody's got to figure out how to enter that gap. Bam! He didn't even know he was gonna get hit. He had no idea, and he doesn't understand that he took another step. Right before that, yeah. and I already caught the step, yeah. and I've hit him off his step. You got some good one, two, good head movement. Your IQ is crazy, Bobby. Been doing this a long time. It's a, it's 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 skills, guys. Like to me, it's uh, and now I'm trying to open up more with, with legs and stuff. Show people because people call me just a boxer. Mm. Like yeah, they keep calling me a boxer. I'm gonna show them I got cold lane game too. I just be just trying to show. All right, I can show show more of this shit because it's like everybody wants to see somebody get hit in the face. It's easy to kick somebody. But it's harder to punch somebody in the face, you know? Mm. Like that. I can kick him all day like that, you know? I can do all oh, yeah, that I, shit. I, yeah, I saw that Crescent kick in there. Yeah, I'm throwing different shit, you yeah. know? <laughs> like, I, got, I got a whole nother arsenal. I just don't be th showing y'all that. Yeah. What were you Man. telling the crowd? Because they, they were chatting, I think they were going for Miller. Oh, like, oh yeah, keep it going. Hey, but for real though, man, hood niggas don't be throwing crescent kicks like that, the one you threw. What's up? I'm a martial what? artist. Where you learned that I'm crescent kick, martial though? martial artist. Where you, where you learned that my, crescent my kick? My head coach, my head that coach That shit was Sam beautiful. <laughs> my, head, my head coach, Sam Mason. You had the toes flared he, he and everything. You're a karate nigga. But I don't know, you You keep playing me like that, you want to keep playing me like that. What? I'm going to get on your bed, hand me your ass. I'm giving you a compliment. You sound like beautiful. You know what I mean? You sound real fairy, real sugary. Yeah, no, 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 no. You really got a Disney Channel. No, you said my toes was out there. I'm yeah, my toes was. I gave you a cover. You gave me a little. Your toes. Your toes. It was the pixie dust. Like, what you want? Like, my toes was out there like, hello. You know what Fuck, what the fuck? I wish you would have landed. That was beautiful, though. Bobby. Yeah, I keep trying to catch him with it when he coming in. But it's some shit I'll be working on, just throwing different shit, different attacks. Yeah, I like that fake with the leg. I like that. I'm coming legs to go high to get him. I got to get them hands coming down more because he's had such a high guard. You never seem phased the entire fight. It seems like your cardio was crazy and everybody was calling you out for that. No, his opponent was guessing the whole time. Look at him. He, 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 he was that's guessing. His, and that's his last big shot. Right yeah. here, I was like, bitch, bitch, bitch. Uh, <laughs> oh, he got me there, bitch. Yeah, that was a hell <laughs> look, Mary. Look, miss, miss, bing. I threw a little backhand, boop, boop, boop. So everybody <laughs> thought he had me rocked. I'm like, how are you still making him miss? Still attacking, miss, miss. And you rocked. No, he he so he was frustrated, but then he was like, "Fuck, I just you know end of the round, I gotta try oh, to win this round." Flying and me. you kept and you kept fucking him up. He didn't have no answers. So now after round one, everyone usually thinks that like that's your best round. To me, I play possum. I'll kind of just be like touching and feeling, and so I get all my reads. I'm trying to get my reads on you. How fast you are, what attacks you were using. What's you, you're more dominant with? You like more legs or more, are you, are you more hands? Are you more uh, jabs? Are you more power shots? Are you more, you know, I'm learning all these different things. What range are you like firing from? <coughs> now, second round, I'm going to start making it to the point where second round, I'm going to turn up the fire now. I told Jim this before the fight. I said, hey, I was, we just started. I was just getting warmed up. Like, you told him that after the first round? I told him right at the beginning of the second. Right uh -huh. as we, we stood there looking at each other. Yeah. I was just getting started. Now, watch this shit. So now <laughs> I take it where now... All right, round one. Some people are like, okay, he kind of rocked you in there. They might think about maybe they gave it to you. You still now I'm gonna to wash you now. I'm mm. gonna wash you. You almost knocked him out with that. If you would, if that one shot, if you would have uh, followed up right away, he would have been down. I saw it. You rocked him a little bit, but he, you know, he like yeah. recovered real quick. Yeah, I know in his mind, I, I saw it a couple of times, and it crosses a, a few guys I fought. I've seen it happen. I did this with Nazareth. I told him it was gonna be this fight was gonna be similar. Same thing where I was gonna hit him a lot. 
this guy's going to take a lot and he's going to get hit a lot. The flying so, knee was incredible. Yeah. Well, was and Nanzar had the same thing. I, and, and they both had the same thing, this, this little look. They had this look like. They want to give up? Yeah. Like they want to quit. Yeah. But but they too much of a man to quit. Yeah. yeah. And then they think, well, maybe it's a possibility. One, maybe I hit you with one shot and a little, you look like you got rocks, so maybe I can make that happen again. Yeah. And two, I'm a man. I can't fucking quit. You know, and so both these things beat them up, and they just try to stick it out, but it just get worse and worse. Oh yeah! Oh my bro. god! Yeah, this guy just get worse and worse. Bro, he's yeah. pouring out of his eye. Did you yeah. see the cut in the middle of the fight when you hit him? Did you see it open up? No, nah, I just saw him leaking. That's so a lot of these guys be leaking when they fight with me when we do like a full on fight type shit. But a lot of guys try to grapple more, you know. Yeah, he can't he see your punches. He see, he see, I see the problem. He can't see your punches coming. I see your your method to your madness, like your jab and stuff like that. He don't see it coming. Why is that? Because it, because it, it's not uh, it's not normal. It's not orthodox. So it, it coming oh. from his, it's coming from his his waist. I don't really like to talk about my shit so much. I'm just talking with y'all with it because I fuck with y'all. But like, what I'm actually doing is is uh, Bruce Lee kind of said a little bit like to be like water. And what you're doing is I'm not putting no real emphasis on none of my punches. Like, I never really hit the guy where I'm hitting him with my whole power. I never threw one shot that it was like, all right, I'm trying to knock you out. But it's a good amount of sting on you. You're like, oh, shit, mm. you know? Oh, shit. And so you have to have this perfect balance because what I understand in fighting is that fighting is, what is this, like a, a, a marathon in a way, you know? You can get a nigga out, you can get him out, you know? But at the same time, if you be stupid and, and and we're playing chess, if you play the wrong matchup and you get beat up like that, it can zap your your cardio. You get hit in the right spots and the body real good, zap your cardio. Changes the whole fight around. And so I I, I purposely hold back on my strikes. So like, look, I'm just touching him, touching him, touching him. I'm not focused on power. When you load, look, he loads. Yeah. You see that stuff coming. And you got good head movement like a boxer. Like you duck all the way out of there. <clears throat> I seen you do that plenty of times. <clears throat> and so I never uh, load wow. the power. Incredible. I just touch you more so <clears throat> over and over. Really good enough that it, it, you don't want to keep getting touched by it, but I don't blow my wad trying to hit you 50,000 times. Mm. I can go 50,000 times and make it look like a dog walk. Like I'm just walking in the park. <clears throat> One of the things that the Jackson podcast community was talking about in our Discord and in the comments was that they say most of the time if someone ever gets hurt, they lose their jaw, they lose their their cardio, they lose their ability to strike and kind of live in the pocket because they, they fight a little bit more timid or defensively. It seems like in this fight, your jaw stronger than ever, your body stronger than ever, and your cardio is better than ever. What did you do for your training camp? Um, I would say you're wrong into <laughs> one thing. I'd say, you say my jaw strong. First of all, that's a little wild just to say all that. Your jaw strong. Well, I mean, you, you know? took crazy your punches that strong. most people would go down you on. You know? What you mean? What you be doing with that jaw, you know? <laughs> yeah, bro, I mean, yeah, you mean your jaw strong? <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't want to say it. Yeah. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say that. Actually, yeah. I'm trying to be polite, so you gotta, you got a chin or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah I just, chin. I didn't want to say it. Yeah, why you talk talking about, about the past why, fights? Why, why you talking about this man's jaws? No, you know what I meant. You spicy over here. Oh, my. Hey, Real spicy. Listen, you know what I meant. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But you gotta, what you is it? Your jaw strong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, and what I understand is this: is one is I try to have great defense. They like, say I got the Floyd Mayweather shit, you know. But at the same time, I'm fighting right in somebody's face. How can you have like not get hit, but you making a a, a, a fucking Crazy fight where you're in the pocket so much you're, where you could take damage. Your you know? defense is your head movement. You, I don't see no other defense. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your defense. <laughs> your defense is you just move out the way. Well, I'm just gotta keep it real. He talking nigga, about defense. Keep it his, real, his, nigga. Keep his, it yeah, real. His hands really low, but <laughs> but he don't get hit. He right. He don't get hit because he's moving. I'm watching him right now. I watched his fight. I watched it, uh, the, you know, mm. when it was Saturday. Yeah. Then we watched it with a little bit with TJ. But I'm yeah. watching it again now. I'm really, really like paying attention to it, like. Cause I've been 
No, the defense yeah, you've been criticizing his, his, I've been criticizing his hands, He's mad that you fight with your hands down. I am mad he fight with his hands down. He said guys like that, guys that fight with their hands down like that, he loved those type of fighters because it excites him because he feels yeah. they don't respect him. Yeah. That's why yeah. I said Bobby Green yeah. don't respect anybody striking. Yeah, yeah, Bobby, you look like you don't respect nobody. You don't respect the referee. Like, yeah. fuck, you cussing everybody out. What did you say he told I the referee? I fight you the same way, no no problem, you know? What, so, what, what once you I learn, problem? Once I learn your range and I learn your timing of everything, I, I, would, I would do the same thing. Yeah, but see, but see, it'd be difficult. You faster than me, so it'll be it work in your favor because I see you stay out of range. But what I'm more so trying to say is like you said it just uh, uh my head movement. It's also my feet positioning too. Mm. It's also the angles I'm taking that makes it more where I could slap off this way and slide my head that way. Yeah. Because I'm off that angle too. And so it's also your feet positioning. And yeah. then it's also, bro, I'll slap my hands up at the last second. Watch. Usually I'm hitting you more than trying to put my hands up. I should be trying to hit you instead of block. Does, does Fuck it grow that. Block shit. Like, why? Yeah. She gonna come at me at some point I just know my style. Look, yeah. I'm trying to hit him. Yeah. You know? I ain't trying to sit there and do all this. And yeah. just, no, bing, bing. Take that with you for yeah. coming in. Look, I'm, some people don't even, oh, that's another thing. A lot of people don't even see some of these hits yeah. he's getting hit with. Yeah. I have to really slow it down for you and show you, look, bro, he got hit right here. He didn't even know he got hit. Nobody got knew he got hit. Even the commentators don't even mention it. It's like this little pat. He got hit. He's like, oh, fuck. What the fuck was that? It's small in there. Small little shots that nobody sees. Oh, that's one, two. Was, that one, two was nasty. Look, he back it up. Now he's like, oh, he, oh he, he's thinking about it. Yep, he was thinking about it. So now I start putting more power on my shots, yeah. you know, as, as I get him hurt, you know? Yeah, he was thinking about giving up, but then I guess his corner told him, like, you only got 30 seconds. Keep getting your ass kicked. <laughs> and you oh, lead him shit. to the body down. That's some, that's some good martial arts. That's some good much. I had to I had to uh give you some respect on I'm to put some respect on your name for this performance. I had to watch it real close. But um one question though, did it gross you out all his blood on you though? Man, bro. That shit was wild. Uh gross me out? I don't know. This is part of the fucking thing. I think I don't know if I was one to sit in for like almost an hour. No, you gotta take that. I had to do interviews straight from this shit. Uh see, look, he threw an arm right here, my arm got stuck, and then my other arm is stuck behind him there. I'm like, fuck, I can't pull him out. No, nah, he was just out in the bell ring. Yeah, he was just happy you weren't hitting him no more. Yeah, holding on me. He was holding me on, holding on to me. But it looked like you respect him at the end. You, you give him a nice hug. I would have been like, man, get the fuck off me. You bleeding. You leaking. <laughs> nah, I, it's already past all that now. He don't, he don't want you raising raise because he know he got his ass kicked. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, don't raise my shit. You just beat me the fuck up. <laughs> well, you show I, a lot of sportsmanship. That's, that's good. You know, it's just like, uh, you gotta respect the man that, that's done that, you know. Like people, but you look I'm... like you don't respect him though when you in there kicking his ass. Uh, yeah, no, no, because it was a war. <laughs> it wasn't no war. Look you, at his face. Was, look that at his was one eye. Side, that was Poor one Jim side Miller. of the fight. Oh my god, that is a this massive is war, gap between bro. his eye and his eyebrow. Look at the Triple H movement coming right now. Bobby took this from the <laughs> WWE. Ready for this? This is my favorite part. I did it yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Imagine, imagine like if someone literally just did that all over you after you lost, you would freak out, huh? Hell yeah. Ref be, the ref be like, fuck, here he goes. The here ref was goes. pissed? Uh, no, they, what no, did you say that he said to the ref in round one? You said you could read his lips. He was saying something to the ref? No, I don't remember what I said now. Oh, oh you shit. don't? No. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he goes. Here he goes. No, but I ha I'm going to have to roll the tape. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember what I said, Bob. You know, I be you know I be trying to be entertaining here in this podcast room. He don't see. He don't get offended. He don't get offended. Like, what's your friend ain't got offended? Are you we had scared, to, we Bobby? Had to who got offended? Because now all of a sudden you don't remember. This is the first podcast. Whoa, I've whoa, seen whoa! You. Why are you gonna? Hey, who, 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 am I, who am I? Who am I afraid of? No, I'm just saying this is the first podcast you've ever hey, hey, who, not who, remembered. Hey, who are your friend that got offended? Uh, who the other one got to be talking? Um, oh no! Don't let's not do. No, that. no, what's his no, name? No, no, we can't do it. We're not doing that on camera. Yeah, what's his name? Because that's gonna cause us a lot of problems. Bobby, easy with the gun, brother. No, what's, what's, what's his name? No, no, we're not doing all that. You're going to get us all in trouble. He's going to show up here. I, I remember. Then I'm going to have to call security. He's going to show up here. I can't put you in that position, brother. Hey, is he, are they in the same weight class? Because that would be a good matchup. Because they both, I just want to, I just want to put a mic, I just want to put a microphone in the cage. Oh, I don't want to see fight. Bobby fight him. Yeah, what's his name? What's Bobby his name? might kill him. What's his, what's his name? You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll move on. He from fought this MVP one. his last fight. Did he? Who is that? Kevin Holland. Huh? Kevin Holland, yeah. Wait, yeah, what yeah, happened yeah. with him? Is that the same weight class? Uh, he won 70. Yeah, wait, uh, what happened with him? What happened with him? Yeah, what are you talking about? No, I'm just saying, you two, you two guys. Bro, oh, wait, what? what is shut up, shut up, man. Why is that some black on black crime? Yeah, some black on black crime. No, because <laughs> both of y'all be talking <laughs> while y'all fighting, y'all both entertaining. And, and, and y'all very entertaining. So fight. you want to fight MVP? Is that what I'm hearing? No. Because he, he has that sport karate. 
style, nah, and you nah, want to go in there. Him and Kevin Harlan. What, so what, what, what weight class is he? You don't say nothing about MVP having his hands down. I no, did. No, he did. I did. He I, cl- I clowned him, too. Wait, what's what, what? my favorite fighters? <laughs> well, damn it, dude. You can't say sense. that. Can't, it makes sense. You can't say that in front of Rampage. What? Right? No, no. M- what, MVP's a good last, fighter. I feel like I'm looking at Bowser in the last, last game of Mario Kart. What are you doing over here? That's your third man, one. That, that was a fu- that was fucked up, man. Right. Hey, call him the Bowser, last boss. Why you call him Bowser that's though? The last, that's the last level of that ain't Mario right. Kart. That ain't King right. King Koopa, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Koopa Troopa, like yeah. Princess Koopa Troopa. Yeah, how you going? You disrespect no, my dog? Like that, that, bro, 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 he, bro, he, he did, very disrespectful. Like, you didn't disrespect MVP. No, I he was over here laughing. MVP. I love MVP. Shit. He don't like MVP. Well, I do like MVP. I'm the biggest fan of Bobby we, Green. I'm we, the biggest fan of MVP. We, hey, we both come from Bellator. What I got against MVP? I like I said. I just he don't like that. Pride. I just don't like that he got his hands down. You came from Pride. I don't what like. I don't. I don't on, like man. y'all motherfuckers fighting with y'all hands. Dope. Down. It's dope. But but you it's know having your own swag. It's having your own shit. Making yourself separated from everybody else. Like when everybody doing that. Nah, we gonna do this. You know what I mean? And it's like that's what I respect too about him too. It's like. Like, yeah, it's a karate base more so too. He understands the gap, the distance, and and how he he's gonna measure all that different stuff. And from there, that's why he he did Kevin Holland like that. I thought Kevin it was Holland didn't Kwan understand though. the gap like he could. And that's why he lost to to what's his name to another high karate striker, uh, the white boy. Uh, fought, uh, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Um, karate Kid, Wonder Boy, Wonder, Wonder Boy. Boy. That's well, Wonder Boy. Yeah. Same way. He doesn't understand that gap and understand those karate guys are coming from sh- way over here across and get you. Would you, you know, be willing to go train with Kevin Holland and teach him that 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 gap? Kevin Holland, shoot. He's in Texas. You know what I mean? If he ever hits me to train, I'll train with him. You you teach him that 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 gap? I work with him. How y'all ever talk? Are y'all cool with each other? Me and Kevin Holland? Yeah. We have a a very interesting history. Let me ask you an honest question. And you don't have to lie because we're all boys here. And you know I love you, you know? Oh, shit. You have to, I don't tell the truth. No, I know. But, you know, I sent you the video. My dad was celebrating. We were all going nuts for you. You saw that. We we all support you. My family love Bobby Green. But is it true that you you shot your shot at Laura Sanko at UFC 300? She denied you in front of everybody. Is that true? Man. You know what? (laughs) Rampage, I think you fucked it up. You fucked it up for all of us, okay? Huh, huh. Yo, horny ass used to do. <laughs> with all that shit your ass used to do. Now, every nigga say something about a female, it gotta be like that. No, but it's true. He shot his shot at Laura. Laura said, no, no it's Bobby. not yes, true. It is. Yes, it is. You were on your mind. Michael B. Jordan, so you I'm can't break do with the shit swag. Down. All right, break it down. Break it down. Break it. So we don't need full of shit, though. So, He's gonna tell the truth. First time this shit happened. <laughs> all right, we having a weigh-in show. They invite me to come host a show. I'm like, yeah, I'll go up there. Fuck it, I'll do it. All right, cool. Well, they're doing a the little weigh-ins, and Mackenzie Dern comes. Mackenzie Dern is an attractive young lady. <laughs> and now, with that married. being said, married. I don't know this. I don't know any oh, of this. Oh, yeah, easy to say now. I don't know any of this. Right, so going. I go, sheesh. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm going to open up one of these energy drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, one too. from one sheesh, too. they automatically <laughs> assume... Oh, this nigga was like, sheesh, I'm going to rip my clothes off and, yeah. and try to take this girl down type shit, you know? No, they and just like, No, I'm saying she really fit. She really jacked, you know? She like she came ready to fight. Like, man, she look in shape, you know? But it's already some 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 horny ass shit. We trying to fuck type shit, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know what you're saying. It, you know, those are lame ass motherfuckers. That's like, the first one. Yeah. The second time now, is what you talking about with Laura Senko, I'm in a fucking... Uh, and the stupid little thing you're shooting, a little promo for the UFC <clears throat> shit. And they're like, cool, you need a morning question. And like, they put me on the spot. I don't know what to say. I'm like, man, they want me to ask somebody a question. I want to ask nobody a question. But you got to pick a host. Of, uh, like if I had to pick between you two and somebody else on who I'm asked a question to. I'm like, man, I don't even know who's on the other shit right now. I asked Laura. I'm asked Laura because I know Laura on air shit. Okay. They said, ask Laura. So I was like, uh. Do you miss me being on the show? Is what I'm really trying to say. No, I but I said, do you miss me being next to you? No. And it came out like some old horny dog shit. Like a nigga trying to fuck. Hey, they hey, hey, that's all it is. Because uh, yeah, they all man. got a crush on her. And Bear got a crush on her. He told me he had a dream about her the other day. Who? The girl you talking about. Who? The one he talking about. One we had. 
Don't play dumb. He he told you he had a dream. About. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I, I'm like in three different dimensions right now. He he's got you see, this, you see how he play when when I the, when the I the when chronic I, 320 see, over here. What yeah. is that's this? a great excuse. Every time yeah. you want to get us, I'm high. Yeah. I'm high. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't even know what the hell's going on. I'm Look high. I don't, like I'm I don't at a Cypress Hill concert. I don't know what I said. This I don't know what I did. What in the world? What? He Even walked in looked like day. the general manager of Medmen. He got so much red on. And then he got this, you know, he got all this tree, can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, how much, how much you, uh. On his you third was, one. How much you would say you spend a month on weed? Weed? Yeah. Be honest, though. Sheesh. He always honest. I know, he be honest. honest. Man. At one point in time, like, Kellen said I spent like close to 50 grand on this shit. Uh, a month? <sighs> No, no, no. In oh, that's a year. A year. That's yeah, a year. Yeah. Oh, so you haven't broken down in months. Oh, I haven't broken down in months. But this is but this is when we was first becoming legal, and they only had the little uh, your little dispensary you go to, and they charging you yeah, know they charging seventy five, eighty, eighty five for for three and a half grams. We roll them up <clears> in them big ass fucking woods and shit. You don't went through that. You gotta go back again. And you're like, man, that's another. And I start spending one hundred and fifty, two hundred. Bucks a day off this shit, you know. Well, how come you don't get a weed sponsor? How come you don't team up with a with a fucking farm or somebody? That's exactly where, where I'm trying to get to now is to get to that point where, like me personally, I just been trying to learn about growing plants, you know, and stuff like that. So I know from the bottom, like I'm not. I want to be a nigga that's from the bottom. I don't want to be the guy that comes in through top, like, oh yeah, I bought this big warehouse. I want you to work in this. Just like Bear, like, Bear no, likes I to be the know bottom what's too. Going yeah. on. Always. You oh, he a start. bottom. He a bottom feeder. White <laughs> sure. fish tilapia. Listen, <laughs> hey, you talking? You talking about the business? You said no. I don't want no sponsor. I want the farm. He said I want to go learn how to how, how to do it myself. But one thing I gotta understand from you because everybody is everybody is trying to figure this part out is why did you feel the need to call out Patty the Batty? Because we heard he called you out and he said. He said, uh, like, no, it's like, it's, you know, I don't want to say it on live, but go ahead. I'll let you say, wait, why did you feel the need to call him out? I don't want to uh, say what no, he said. No, because he said my name and shit, you know? Um, Patty was coming through and he was getting all this little notoriety and be honest, like, he's like, like I guess I want to say I'm jealous in a way. I felt like a lot of those kids be getting on that super hype like that, like, like where they don't realize that they are in this position, you know, like they don't know that they're the, the spoiled brat, you know, we all in the classroom and shit. And we all fighters. We know what's up. We know who the good kids are. We know who the bad kids are. You know, you start learning on who's who. Like I'll be in the fucking little, little, uh, room and meeting room. I'm always in the back of the classroom. You know what I mean? I'm in the back looking at everybody. My all the fighters sit down. I never sit down. I'm always in the back. I be walking, pacing forward and Dana talking shit. I just let them talk and listen to them. Like, all right. I'm listening, but I just sit in the back and watch all the different people and the characters and, and everybody. And so you can see the good kids, the bad kids, you know, who don't get along with people and shit like that. And so same thing goes for... Fuck, I lose my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Patty the Batty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there we go, there we go. <laughs> We're all on different planets. There's a bunch of Space Jam monsters over here. No, so we just want to know why you call him out because you just called you just called Patty the Batty a spoiled, spoiled brat. motherfucker. Wait, but are you sure you want to say that on camera? You want to leave that in the podcast? Spoiled. You want to say it? Spoiled. Oh my god. What's spoiled I'm, about Pat? I I'm like gonna, Patty? I'm going to school him. He wants war. I'm going to school him. I, I'm, well, like, why you say he's spoiled? What's spoiled about Patty? Spoiled the is, is is like, he uh, like a nice guy. Yeah, he seems like a nice. Seems guy. great. Seems like a good person. I, I, I'm not knocking him like that. More so, like no knocks to him at all. Like in in no sense. I'm just saying more so like. When guys say certain things, like, and how they move, mm. you know, when you're the guy. Mm. When some people never might not ever get that light. And they don't realize they're the guy and, and how they take the light and how they do with the light. You know, like, I used to be like that with Sean O'Malley the same way. But, you know, Sean, earn, I feel like Sean's earning his his keep now where I'm like, man, you good now, you know? Mm. I, I ain't got no issue now I'm with you. Before, I was like, you were a spoiled kid. You were saying this shit. I'm like, bro, you ain't fought nobody yet. But then he fought Peter Yan. I'm like, all right, he fought Peter, even though I feel like he lost, but he still went in there and scrapped with that motherfucker, and he, he didn't fight even no bitch, you know? So I'm like, I respect him off of that. All right, and then he went in there and slept out. I'm like, all right, now he fought the champ. Hey, now you're starting to get my respect. Like, he put his work in, you know? But when at first he was coming in and the sugar show, I'm like, hey, you ain't earned shit yet, bro. Chill out, you know? You ain't fought no killers yet. Then we'll talk about some shit, you know? You feel like fighters are faking it till they make it type yeah. shit? These ones you talking about? Faking it until they make it? Because you, you saying like you ain't respecting they ain't fought nobody, but they still acting the part, though. 
Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's uh, so why I call it spoiled more. So it's like you acting like you, like you, like you on the field, and you really not on the field yet. You just barely started playing ball with the outside pre members. Like Sean had fought a nigga that was a, uh, 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 who wasn't even in the uh, organization. They pulled him from another organization like on short notice and went and fought Sean. <laughs> yeah, put, put, put that gun down. All right. You got me crazy. You keep pointing that thing at you Rampage. Tripping. I might have to kick you in the throat. You scared of guns? Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm scared of guns, too. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, especially the way he points it, because he walked in, he had it in his pants, and he walked over when I was punching the bags, and he go, I got something. He pulled it out. I go, oh, Jesus. I said, don't bring that heat in here. But he go, no, it's just my lighter for when I see Rampage. Come on. You good? So... I'm good. I'm, hey, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm used yet. to this shit. I, I told you, I started smoking weed when I was eight years old. Yeah, but you seem really high. You get really no. quiet and then you turn up. No, Get a weed chew. No, uh, I, a woo chew. no, no, I'm not high. I'm, I, I don't even got a contact. I ain't high. What do you mean? Yes, you do. No, I'm not high. You text me three times saying, yo, dude, I'm getting faded. Look at this. I got the text message right here. Rampage Jackson, yo, I'm getting faded. I said, I, all I said is, yo, just drink your drink. You'll be fine. So. Yeah, I keep it light. I run into Patty. He had one of the little shows. I do a little, little, I think a live and shit. <laughs> Apparently, look, he right here. Yeah. He like right where that light is, you know what I mean? He mm. about right there. Right here? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, about there. Yeah, I'm like, hey, look, look at this nigga. What's up, Patty? What's up? Patty, he looking at his phone, you know what I mean? He ain't making no eye contact. He not looking at me at all. He don't want to give me no time of day. So I'm like, man, see, they feel, they don't realize you're not even on the ends. Were you in the ends? I'll be saying what's up to all the fighters. I walk through there like, what's up? You know, I'll be all through there because hey, most of these respect my work. I respect everybody else around me. So I'm good. I'm in good in the Bro, club. I think some niggas don't like you because the last thing I saw, motherfuckers fighting you in the motherfucking hotel lobby or some motherfucking shit. Even Army, even Army, we good. We good. Did you see my video? No, I just saw some shit on there. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers you fighting. You see my video, though. What happened? I chased them niggas around like rats and shit. Yeah, you were fighting. Look, what? you were fighting like five motherfuckers in the Man, lobby. Yeah, yeah. What was up with that shit? Shit, they shouldn't have started it. <laughs> they started it. But me and Armin good now. You Are know what I mean? Good. Me and good now. He just did, like, he, he didn't expect to go so far. But I think he, like, the barrier languages and shit. So I think he was trying to tell me, like, like don't talk shit about me. So he's like, why you talk shit? So I got up like, what? And I was already on a phone interview. So when he ran at me, I'm like, what the? He owned me tough. I'm like, what? What is he talking about? I'm kind of like so sleepy and she just woke up. So I'm like, man, I get up like, nigga, what? And so like, he, what he was trying to say was don't talk shit to him. Okay. Then he got offended. I didn't know what he was talking about. I'm like, talk shit because he got offended over me saying he was boring. Oh, uh, I thought he got offended because you called him a nigga. <laughs> Bro, you're like on five months. Are we good? My nigga. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this nigga, he ended up where he keep going and saying my face. I try to get him back. I try to move him back and he shoved me in my throat and shit. I saw that. But we had Pulled a little white boy in between us who's a little exec and shit. So I throat, didn't trip on him and shit. Yeah, we got a video of Bobby, Bobby after they attacked Bobby. Yeah, he Bobby got, was getting punked by a bunch of dudes. Bobby said nine. Nah, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't 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 disrespect my brother right here while he in front of me. No, no, I'm about to say No, the no, whole he didn't story. get punked by no, no they motherfucker. Were trying to, or they were trying to like gang up on him. The choose your words wisely. Okay, you know what I meant? Don't try to No, no, he didn't get punked by no. This, this is the problem in our society. You always got one guy who's coming between friends. Shit, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I didn't find nothing slick shit in there. You know I ain't slick. We sparred. Yeah, man. You know, it, was it was seven of them. It was seven of them. Okay, they ran up on so, him. I saw him all. I'm like, like oh. How come your boys didn't have your back, though? I saw you doing all this. He was on the phone talking no, to no, me. I thought you had, no, I thought he had somebody there with you. And I saw you kicking everybody's ass. Nobody was even, like, oh, helping you out. Part two. Yeah, you're right. part two. He's talking about part two. No, part one, he was legitimately on FaceTime with me. And I was telling, he was wearing my glasses, the Jackson sweater, and all these dudes rolled up on him. I said, yo, Bobby, behind you. And he said, what? And then they all ran you up You hear that promo? You hear that promo? And he was wearing the glasses yeah, and yeah, the Jackson yeah, sweater, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, need a, I need a white one of those ones, too. Those I got you. Are, I got you. Know you. And then he, yeah, he DM'd me. He said, nah, homie, I asked you to send the good package. You sent me a lame hoodie. I said, don't worry. When you come hey, to the podcast, hey, you know, I got hey, you. But you know what? This is off, off subject, though. But you know what's crazy for me, though? I was watching that. You know, he's Armenian. I got a lot of Armenian homies out in, in the UK. And and my homeboy, he owns that clothing line he was wearing. Yeah. I'm mad at if okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm not saying it right. They send you stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess. So. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I got That's some Armin's stuff. crew. So he rolls with Armin's yeah, yeah. crew. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. he's like Jackson versus yeah. versus how you, how you say that? Ahmad Zad. 
I don't know. I've never worn I, that yeah, brand, I, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit's hard, though. It's hard. It and it was like, it was, it was kind of like that. You gassing them right now? No, no, they're cool. I would never do that. Don't Man, do that in hey, front of Marco, my you, you, you Yo, called them out, but it was like brother, Texas. You can't play both ways. If you want to be a, 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 a switch hitter and hit with your left and your right, that's good. You know I, I ain't no motherfucking right. switch. You know I ain't no motherfucking switch hitter. I'm just making sure. You need to chill with your words. I got you. It was like, it was like, he didn't even know what's going on. It like five or six of them. I'm like, what the fuck? So like, no, they had have, a moment no, no, where they did no, Khabib no, like no, that. No, no, no. He, no, he, he goes, no, listen. No, no, no. no, 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 no. He did this yesterday. He tried to beat me up. But I got Bobby today. <laughs> no, no. I'm smoking. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Got me. I'm smoking. You need to put some respect on my name. And, um, you know, we need to respect. He looked like Birdman now, right? Look like a rapper. He's so lean. Look at look at he trying look he trying to sweet talk now he, nah. he said no nah, you look like Trey coming together it's coming together man yeah yeah you coming together but, you look but you like Trey songs but you got to pay attention to what he say like he be doing little little small digs and so he tried to say I'm a switch hitter you heard what he said brother not no nobody takes everything sexual you take ninety eight percent of anything said you make it sexual we talking about eating shrimp he goes nah I don't eat that. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's just shrimp, it's food. He says something sexual. I said, bro. No, I don't. I don't do that. Yeah, yeah, you know you do that. Every podcast. All right, let's so, finish what I'm saying. If, who's Beavis and who's Butthead? This is like, y'all like fight like brothers and shit. C. No, Riley we, and Will Ferrell, stepbrothers, right here. No, Look at this. No. Y'all can be. Hey, no. hey, stepbrothers. So, yeah, get, you're, 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 you're definitely yeah. Butthead then. You're the butt, you're Butthead. Man. Bro, I never That's even seen that your butthead. First of all, no. don't compare yeah. us to people that are proper, like Maximus Aurelius. Like gladiator, like people who actually get down. <laughs> so you, you know what I mean. So you, you and Armin, y'all in the same weight class, correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so Wait, I thought he was trying to do a yeah Khabib Bobby, moment. You know Bobby what I mean? Attacks five I don't know if you ever seen this shit where Khabib uh, slap uh, uh, what's the name? Or uh, uh, what's the name of his homie? Khabib, he smacked um, uh, um, Connor's homie. Connor's dude. homie. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They ran up on him deep. Look at you this. Know? Look at yeah. he's on so, FaceTime. I was on the phone. Oh, that's the brand. That's they the brand. That's a sick brand, bro. Shit. Shit. And I ain't joking around, man. They brand. Oh. Hey, it's just. You see the little white boy? You see the white boy? Yeah, he who in is between that? us. That's a UFC guy. He keep going to be trying to go in between us. And bro. so I know if I steal and I hit him, yeah. you know what I mean? Yo, Bobby stood right uh, this nigga been assuming. me. Yo, you weren't scared? I told him right there. I said, get down. I told him right there. And then I tried to move him back right there. I told him I pushed him back. Yeah, you by yourself. Yeah. I'm all by myself. I got my old man coach, but he down the hall. My old man coach, 60 years old, you know? Yeah. And so- Why you say, call him your old man coach, though? But I'm just saying more so there ain't like my, none of my young niggas around me. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, he ain't about to get in there. And so, that's, that's part one. I want this you to this show on part your, two. This on your page? Yeah. It's on my page? So you did initiate it all. It's on my page? That's crazy. He was, yeah, that's on your page. Yeah, that's on your page. You don't know Holy what's on shit. your page, young man? Nigga, I don't be knowing. What do you mean you posted uh, it? I be posting. I mean, I be forgetting this shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I want to not post part two then. No, he did part two. No, no, we don't want to see this again. I want to yeah. see part two. Yeah, Bobby posted. I don't think I did. No, I yeah, saw you scrap. I didn't see that. I didn't see that one. It was in the hallway. But that, hey, that's cool the though. Lobby. It's like it's like Jackson versus Ahmad Zad. You know what I'm saying? No, my I don't two, do that. My they two. ran up on me. Nah, yeah. they hey, ran up the two that. brands no, I represent. Those are two brands I, I represent. I wore that shit. I still got it. See what I say? Go both ways. So listen. I don't be what, sure what, no drama. What I want to say though. What I want to say though is you weren't scared to just stand up. With all of them surrounding you like that? Bro, like, listen, I don't be starting drama with nobody. I'll be a cool ass nigga, bro. But I am, like, I'm from a, a rough background where niggas stand on that, you know? We stand on that, like, and I'm not trying to be like the tough guy or nothing. I knew it was like five or six of them, like, but I just knew I can't bitch out. It's just something in me, I can't bitch out. So I'm like, hey, do what you, hey. Hey, since I got a contact hat, I'm, do, I'm nigga, say, what's I, I like fighting a bunch of dudes because that's why I grew up fighting a bunch of dudes, but I ain't never fought a bunch of motherfuckers. Fighters. Fighters, like MMA yeah. fighters. So that's that's raw. Look at Bobby. Bobby runs up on like five dudes in, in a lobby. With your jewelry on too? Why you take your jewelry off, young buck? When it go down, it go down. <laughs> But you, you got to go down and go down. You don't got you don't got so, a quick second to so, take your jewelry so off. So the second time, no. Nah, so check this out. I already didn't got into it with these niggas, and we're going back to the motherfucking hotel room, right? I'm going back to the room. I tell all my niggas and shit what happened. I'm like, because they was in the hotel up here. Our old man coach came with me. So I'm like, man, they take brand up on me. They pressed me. I felt so mad that I didn't sock nobody. I was mad at myself. Like, why I didn't sock nobody? I felt bad because stupid little white boy right here. I just didn't want to hit him. And then two, when I got up, we tried to get around him. Heidi, you know who Heidi is? You don't know who Heidi is. Heidi is this black woman. She, she, uh, you know who Bert is? Yeah, Bert. I know Bert. That's my Bert that's was my the original, right the OG. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bert used to come through, we're rolling. Yeah. I love Bert, but when yeah. Bert left, he left 
Heidi in place of him. Uh, this black little black woman. You know, uh, she reminded me like my aunt, you know? Uh, okay. And so that's my love. And so she grabbed me. Mm. Once I tried to dip around this nigga, she grabbed me and I didn't want to hurt my people, you know? And that's a female. And yeah. I ain't finna get to turkey and do and yeah, actually yeah. hurt her and shit. So I'm like, nah. But then I run into these niggas when I'm going down the hall shit right after this you shit. You by yourself right here? No, so this is my coach, and that's my nigga, and that's my nigga. Yeah, you swing on everybody. Even, yeah, I'm you like, everybody swing. get these hands. I, I already let this shit slide one time. I'm finna swing. Now we got open space and opportunity. Yeah, everybody and get this smoke. security around this motherfucker. Running around now, what's up? Hey, but how come your hands up when you're in the street fight, but not a real fight? Oh, what's up with that shit, though? Oh, my. Why? What, what's up? Why, why, why? You, why you fighting a bunch of motherfuckers? Bobby. Now your hands up and shit. Bobby. Man... And so, so, but now I'm trying to get on these niggas and they all scatter like roaches and shit. Watch this shit right here. I try to run at one of them. Watch this right here. I try to run at one of them. He tried to Bruce Lee kick me. He tried to Bruce Lee kick me. He tried to Bruce Lee kick me. But you kicked him in his asshole when he ran out of way. Nah, nah, nah. The kick came like this. Yo, where are you kicking him? Revit, Revit, show. Show how Bobby kicked him. Show how Bobby kicked him. Yeah, I'm getting the. I'm getting the contact. Yeah, I'm getting the contact. Yeah, now I'm getting the contact. Let's go. Yeah. I know you're high the whole time. Yeah, he's coughing hey, now. Let's go. I want to hey, say you ran right back. You yeah. ran Bobby Green kicked him in the ass like this. Yeah. Put your ass on that. <laughs> no, yo, show the flexibility. Do that. Do that again. Make <laughs> <Hey, laughs> control of me. Get the fuck out. I ain't listening to this motherfucker no more. Oh and so, my God. And so, I'm like, man, now it's the time where ain't no security around. It's time to really get down now. I don't see nobody. I'm like, the what's up? Your fight, you think yeah. that was needed? Bro, when it go down, it go down. Are you fuck sure? All you think you just hangry because you was cutting weight? Yeah. Good morning, Rampage. Wow. Nah, that's a great nah, point. nah, so, hey, nah. Maybe possibility. Maybe possibility. I used to want to kick everybody ass when I cut weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You be on, you be yeah, on yeah, ten. Yeah, you be on demon and, time. And, and, and only my girl know the. She know I'm a dick. Like when I start getting around that weight cut stuff, you know. See, don't but, don't say don't talk like that because he's gonna be want to come around you while you cutting weight now, bro. I'm, not, I'm never messing with bro. Dick when he's cutting weight. Uh, yo, <laughs> I fucked it. God damn it. God damn it. He did it again. He did it again. That's what you slick. Who's slick? So check this out. What do you say? This is what he did. This is what he did. Now, you didn't catch it. You didn't catch it. I would never press you. You didn't catch it. I would never press you on anything. I'm going to break it down for him. I'm breaking down. I would never press you on anything. You know that. That was the man you moment. I said, I said, when I'm with my girl, she knows. I would never press you. That I'll be a dick. He said, that's the perfect time he gonna wanna be on you. <laughs> <laughs> right over your motherfucking head. It went over my head too for a second. I said, oh shit, he got me again. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, so it's like that today. Oh, man, shit. Man, you started the whole damn thing. I didn't do yeah, nothing. That was slick. You, man, you disrespected him. That was and you disrespected slick. me a couple of times. I woke I up get, this morning and I, I, asked God, I asked God for three things. Help me with more girth in my life with the volume of appreciation. <laughs> I, know, I, know I, I know you be praying. I know you be praying for girth. I know you be praying for more girth. I know you be praying for girth. I'm saying you be praying for girth. Help me stay away from carbs. And I said, please, Lord, make sure Rampage don't bully me today. I asked him. And I, and you know what he said? He, you know what he said? There was a small voice in my head that said, hallelujah. And you know what the other voice said? No, he going to hit you. Bro, that's said, a great motherfucker. No, why, why would he want to hit me? Hey, I ain't never prayed for that. That's a good. That's hey, some good prayer. That's a good yeah. prayer. Does, yeah. I was talking about the motherfucker, no car one. That one, I be killing myself on that one. That one's only a great your, prayer. How's your die? You I be up? praying for God for strength, wisdom, and shit like that. Wisdom. But why don't what, I pray for it? You have a problem with carbs? <laughs> you have a problem with carbs? Your diet? I'm, yeah. Well, I'm, when I'm off, you know. But shit, what do you I, eat? I do more so no carb stuff like that when what, I'm. What's your favorite food? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite thing to eat like after a fight? What's your go to? Sushi. That's not that bad though. What do you mean? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. That's yeah, your yeah, favorite yeah. food. That's got me. I mean, that's what I'm saying. When I'm off camp though, I'm a fatty, you know? Yeah. Hey, this is a sad thing about my life. You know, I'm not a foodie. I, I really not the type of person that love food, but my favorite food, I can't even get it. Because uh, my ex wife was Japanese. And she used to cook it for me all the time. It's on um, Japanese hamburger steak. And man, that bitch ain't talking. So I I try to ask my daughter. Hamburger like, steak. What Japanese is the Japanese hamburger, hamburger steak? Yeah, Japanese hamburger steak. I gotta go to Japan Wait, and that? get it. It's um, it's um, it's like a hamburger patty. It it's like a hamburger patty with like whatever, like onion, whatever in it, over rice with an egg on top with like a special sauce that they make. They all it's like a brown sauce. They all make that sauce that different. Fire. Bro, it's it's good. I like it with the little runny egg. And my ex-wife, she knew that's my favorite meal. I can eat that shit every day. When like I go, to, when I used to fight in Japan, that's why I used to eat. That's my go-to because I'm a picky eater, right? Yeah, and I can too. eat that shit every day. Wait, is it like a meatball? No, it's like a hamburger patty. You know what? It's kind of like a, 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 it's like a Hawaiian, like a loco mocha, but better. 
A local what? I'm going to go all the way to Mexico City just for these tacos. I went last time I went for my boy's fight. We found this one spot. And the line be out the fucking building, around the building and shit like that. And so I'm not even a taco person, but I, I got the tacos there. Fire. And so you going to go back to Mexico the, just for that. Just for the tacos. Just for the tacos. You must be a food. You must be a hardcore food. Uh, I am. I am. Are you about to smoke another blunt right now? I yeah. hope not. No, we got to get through this podcast. We haven't even started <laughs> and you smoke seven up. of them. Now I believe you, him. Now I believe you. Yeah, you you're, you're crazy. I told buddy. you if I get bored and shit. I'm why you bored? At, why oh, you bored on podcast? We, we, right, we yeah. having a good time. Fuck you. Here. So have fun on Ariel. Ariel. You say? Ariel. It's called multitasking, fucker. Ar- what's his name? Ariel? Ariel? Uh, Ariel Kawani. What? Ariel Kawani. Why do you say it like that? That's his name. Oh. We need to get him on here since Bobby bored with us. No, nah, shut the Bobby fuck up. Bobby like us. I think, I think what it is Bear is told Bobby, me not to go Bobby on like area. Well, you he told you him. Yeah, you told yeah. him not to go. Why you tell him fight not to go on area? That's the biggest platform in MMA. No, I didn't say that. I said we need to get the exclusive. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I said we need to get. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't, hey, brother. What do you mean? Don't go there. Don't go here. You're on my show with you. This is your show. What do you mean? Well, I'm keeping it real though. Yeah, this but, is our but, show. But but uh, Ariel, he's the biggest. He's the biggest. No, show we want on the MMA. exclusive from the fight. We're about to break down the fight. We want to Listen, do it here. Don't, live don't let Bert, don't let Bert tell you not to go. I like, oh, him, I like his mindset again. though. I like his mindset. But, yeah, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Hear me out, though. Hear me out, though. Bobby, you ever seen Rocky with Mickey? You got to rock with your team. But look, you got to rock with your team. But but hear me out, though. But but hear me out, though. Hear me out, though. Like these my people. These are my folks. I mean, so I know, but, but listen. I'm always doing with my folks. But, but, can, y'all, but can y'all hear me out, though? We, we don't want I'll to, tell you but we reason. won't listen. I'll tell y'all the reasoning. Listen, you 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 part of the team, man. We got mad love for you. You go on these other shows, it's going to make you an even bigger star within you know all all other platforms. And then you wear some Jackson. They're just showing him love. He got to respect that. Yes. All I, you got to do, all you got to do, is just wear, wear some Jackson. Say Jackson just show his love, like, and that's good. You, uh, I don't think it's, it's it's fair for you just to be on one platform, even if it's our platform. You know what I'm saying? You bigger than you bigger than Not, just one. Well, how much is RL paying you? Jesus, uh, I mean, we we. Well, I ain't just talking about. I'm talking about going everybody show. Go on everybody. Um, get your shit yeah, out there because he's going tomorrow. He's trying to get sponsored. Look, we need this brother to get sponsored by Backwoods or some motherfucking body. <laughs> You know, you got to go out there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. Hey, I, I, I have a package delivered for Bobby. I got you, a, I got you like six pounds. Whatever hey, Bear, Bear said he, he's sponsored by Backshots. What's that? Don't Not- get the police called to my house, okay? <laughs> what happened? Don't get the police called to my house. You're talking about six back pounds. Shots. What do you do with Backshots? <laughs> you, never, you, never, you never passed out no Backshots before? No, what is a Backshot? It's a new clothing line. You said back you, shots? Yeah. I never heard I I've heard of backwards. But you never heard you of like back shots. Back shots? <laughs> I give them out all the time. You give them out? You like you and yeah. sell them in packages like this? No, I give them for free. I ain't so Can you imagine yet. Rampage's face on his own pre-roll back shots? That'd back be phenomenal. Shots, yeah. <laughs> Why? What happened? Wait, what is so funny? Am I missing something here again? Yeah, yeah, you missed stuff. All right, don't time. start with me. Yo, Bobby, a lot of people said that you won't be ready to fight for a minute. Because they said that that fight you took you took some beating and I didn't see anything. I didn't see no beating. I I saw nothing. No, I saw I saw you give a beating. Yeah, I saw you hurt someone. So is that true? Are you? Did you put that out a statement that you're not going to be fighting for a minute? I wouldn't. No, no. Or else I wouldn't ask for Patty to fight. I'll, I'll go sit my ass down somewhere. You trying to fight Patty the Batty next? Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. You don't want to fight Armin because y'all made up. Uh, <laughs> I, I think you take out Armin and his whole his whole corner man the same night. You want, you want Bobby to fight Armin? No, Armin. no, I'm just joking about that. So check this out. I ain't never met Armin, no, but... You know it's hard for, for, for niggas to make money in this sport, right? Do you think it's hard? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. The man that said something is hard and said something is easy, they're both right. No, 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 no. no. So, but you're missing the point. You're talking, about, uh, you're talking about a whole other concept, but what I'm talking more so is it's like... In the UFC... You made some money, but you didn't feel like you made enough. You felt like the money, and, and a lot of people weren't even as fortunate as you. Most people don't never be ever to live those uh, heights as you. I'm talking about the average fucking UFC fighters that come on two years and be out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those guys. And so what I'm saying more so is that I thought I could outsmart these guys. So that's what I've been trying to do more so. It's like, I'm like, all right, if I can use my activity more so, I can get my number and my check up to be nice and suitable, you know. Is that all right? Say you give me a bullshit contract. You're like, Bob, you want to? I want to give you 25 and 25. I'm like, all right, fine. But I bang these motherfuckers four fights uh, contract out with your ass. I come back to you and holler at you at, at the end of the year. You're like, well, shit. All right, now I give you double it. 
All right, I'll go 50. All right, so I'll give you 75 and 75. Okay. All right, I run back the next year. I'm like, okay, sign another contract now. All right, I'll double it on this one. And we're going to go 100, you know, 150. You know, now, okay, I'm 150. And most people are like, you know, you're making only 150,000. Then I make another contract, you know, and just keep going through these contracts. And that's what I've been doing to fight with the UFC is. How, how long have you been in the UFC now? Shit, fuck if I know. I think maybe 10, 11 years. 10, 11 years. And um, who's your manager? Jason Ellis. Jason Ellis. Who? The one that Jason, he, he's who was in here with Korean Zombie, Diego Lopez. Oh, yeah. All yeah, of a sudden, he's, he's got one of the sickest agencies in yeah, the UFC. Yeah, yeah. He's, it's like he's 300 good. fighters, right? Yeah. Oh, he's but he's you were manager. one of his first guys. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to tell, tell you what I see. Like from your personality and stuff like that, you you doing you doing right. You're doing good and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got to be exciting in and outside of the cage. So yeah, yeah. Sure. So I think I think you're doing right, but you know, what I'm saying my my thing was always with negotiations. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't accept what they gave me. I accept what I was what yeah. I was happy with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did. I'm like, no, nah, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't with that. You know, you know, you know. They used to try to offer me, um, you know, you make this much to show and you make this much to win. I'm like, nah, fuck that. This is what I want to fight. I got paid the same way I went, won or lost. Nigga. I'm like, I, ain't with, I ain't with that. Uh, uh, on, 200 Paige, to show. Come on, Paige. Come on, talk some real shit, Paige. It's real. No, no, no. But hold up, like, like, see, so you talking from yo, you from your perspective, and I get that. But you came, like I said, you came with all Japan, so you 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 sparked and touched. No, I've been you there. Had, you had you had more pull. You came in, slept, Chuck Chuck Liddell, snatched the bell. No, you came in with this whole nother. Uh, you know what I mean? No, but I You had there. so much more bargaining power and so much more say so. I'm talking about the average nigga, bro. I'm telling you. When they tell you, nigga, we all take this way. or you can leave. And where you going? Bro, you start it's there. It's the only spot. Where you going? Bro, I started there. That's where I started. I'm trying to tell you. That's Hell where I started. Nah, you can yeah, superstar. Super no, 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 no. I he started, started as a I, fucking superstar. You're a superstar. Bro. He don't know what it is yeah. to <laughs> peck your way through this shit. And I'm telling you, me. hey, you might be uh, not get signed this one. And then you come back and nah, you had a fight of the night. And so, nigga, we going to sign you again. And then you will. Woo -woo -woo. No, They're no. like, hey, maybe that's it's not, not you no more. You come back again, and you come back that again. No, no, that that's I had to work my way. I'm telling you, you know when I was fighting in Pride, them mothers were paying me thirty five thousand dollars. Listen, I get listen, it. listen. Thirty five thousand dollars, and mothers, I was fighting in uh, uh, on the same car. I was the main event. They making two hundred and fifty thousand, three hundred thousand wow. dollars, wow. four hundred thousand dollars. Dan Henderson making four hundred. Four hundred thousand, all this. Wow. I'm making thirty five thousand. They they fucked me over for years, and I and I and I thought that was good money. My first time fighting Sakuraba, they paid me ten thousand dollars. Wow! I, I, I should have made I should have made at least two hundred grand for that fight. That's Sakuraba, you know. So I had to work my way up. I didn't even know I was getting fucked. I was getting fucked so hard, but it was cash money, and and that's the most money I ever made in my life because you know I left everything back home in Memphis and I moved to California with nothing, right? So when I came over to the uh, to the UFC, I was an outsider. They brought my contract. Cause I left Pride and then Same, I went wait, to wait, 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 Strike Force for me too. Yeah. Strike so, Force. so I had to, I had that, 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 that fight. I had to, I had to bust out of that contract. And when they offered me, I was like, no. Nah. I told my manager, like, no, nah, I ain't fighting. But this, this is what I want. You know what I'm saying? But I understand. So I understand what you said. I started. I started. So he can relate but, to you. Bruh. What he's yeah. saying is, but, Bobby. But he can you, relate. You, you know how many niggas that, how many niggas that said no and said, "Okay, we got we got to do something about this." No, they ain't here no more. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to get no, you, to you. You getting that? You niggas getting that right been, now? Niggas, you getting? You bro, getting to that but that's what I'm just trying to explain. I'm talking about for the average for the niggas who don't really watch this shit. Gonna be the fighters that try to be fighters. Like, nah, you you gonna have to get through and say, yeah, even though. They put you against King Kong. Like, there's a few guys that were supposed to kill me, like Rocky Raphael Fizev. This nigga was like knocking every person out he fought for the last five people before he got to me. They catch me and they trying to get me to fight him. Whoop whoop. I'm like, all right, I'll fight him. Kill it. He's supposed to just finish me off. I'll make a fight of the night off that motherfucker. And I make him look bad when when he's supposed to be the Michael Jordan strike and I'm supposed to be the wrestler. I'm a, I pieced him up, you know? And so. That's what I'm more so trying to explain is like to go through that. That I know exactly uh, what you're saying. Shit, they they playing with you, and I'm always been we ain't in, we ain't in your shit, bro. Where I could fight, I had to be uh, uh what I what's the word I want to say negotiable, you know, mm -hmm. workable where my company where yeah, all right, bro. I'm gonna take this and yeah, I'll take that, and then all of they said, man, you've been so good, to us, bro. We gonna bust you off with this, you know, and to get shot me some. Now I'm like, okay, now y'all fucking with me now, okay. Yeah. But at the same time, if I was Bitching like that, I'd be like them niggas and be out. So you got yeah, it's, 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 it's how you bring it up to them. But but um, when I was in the UFC, 
I didn't have no no nego- that much negotiation power because it was what other show am I going to go to? Right when the UFC brought pride, it was nowhere to go. But right now exactly. you got P- you got PFL and they paying they paying the bag too. Man, really, bro, nah, you, stop. Yeah, trust yeah, me. I hear I'm they paying the bag, but I'm but, telling okay, you. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Okay, you saying that? Remember that little thing that came uh, called COVID? Remember when that thing yeah, came yeah. and shook shit the fuck up? You niggas was looking like y'all was like, what the fuck? We gonna fight? How off you? Y'all wasn't getting nut shit popping. You know, I fought five times uh, in a year off that shit, bro. I was killing. They was calling me like, nigga, I saved COVID because I was in there fighting mm. so much and I didn't know when this shit was gonna close or not. I'm like, keep running me through this shit. I gotta stack this money in for my family. And so that's what I'm saying. The UFC was able to capitalize in those positions. Like, what about that where they could still. Their power is that deep. Yeah, Dana White, he he saved... Dana White deserves an award for the way he saved not only the sport of MMA, but the way he kept the legitimacy of what is going on. With I him agree with that 100%. As, 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 but I'm just telling you know, him when, when I was... that organization. Yeah, I'm just telling him... He he's kind of he, he I understand his point, but he don't understand with me when I came up there through there. It was nobody to negotiate with. If 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 Dana didn't like what you say, he's like, okay, we'll go fight somewhere else. It was nowhere for me to fight. Got it. Well, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. You're saying right now there's PFL, there's Ryzen, there's all these things. Yeah. He's just saying right now it don't matter because none of those are going to pay what UFC pays. No, but, I, I, but you did I, bring I, up I, a I good disagree point with that. Okay. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. I think PFL. Yeah, I think PFL. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but okay. Not Ryzen. So, I don't so think Ryzen will. I'll go pay to the spot much. and say they're going to give me 500K, but I'm probably going to fight once a year. Mm. You know? Mm. So it's you make 500K. I, I just made almost 400. Yeah. And this last one, I'm going to fight again. I'm probably gonna fight Patty soon. Then from there, I've already made you know what I'm yeah, saying? No. another 800. All right, now I'm fighting another one towards the end. I'm probably on doing a spear. So now I'm in September. You know what I'm saying? And if I feel like I might pop one in December too, or I might just say, "Ah, oh, chill." You know what I mean? But now look, I made a million point two versus the sticker who made five hundred thousand. Right, mm-hmm. right. And it's the biggest. That's why I'm saying I made this shit count for myself. It's like. Oh, I'm Damn, you already, lit, you already lit that motherfucker up. Oh, this is like the up. sixth one. You got to help me with this. this no, that's like the third. I'm, count, I'm counting this third. Right it's, it's three since he's been sitting here. Give it the official count. So there, we have there's that. three since he's been sitting here. And he, okay. said, he said he had three before he got here. So that's so six? That, so, yeah, so that is and six. Then I had, wow. And then I had about wow. three in, 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 the, in the, uh, my little garage area just sitting there watching <laughs> YouTube and contemplating my day. I go upstairs. I'll just take a little hot-ass bath. I'll come back to so another one or two, you know? So I think I had about three this morning. That's what, nine? Uh, you already on nine. So do you have your own smoking area at your house where you just chill out and just smoke your weed and stuff? Yeah. yeah. One one thing I want to touch on, Rampage, in all seriousness, because that is a good point, and we, we have a lot of fun with each other, and I appreciate everybody being on this. Bobby, you're one of a kind. We always say that you're our favorite guest. That's why we know we can mess around and the cameras just get to see us. But one thing that does make sense, and Rampage, you always speak from a really good opinion because – you fought through all the different generations. How does a oh, fighter? Wait, hold on. What? See, he just took a shot by my age. Okay, finish. I just noticed I caught it. I'm, I'm swift. Okay, through all the different eras of fighting, from Pride to Bellator to UFC, different organizations. Okay, what's your question? You've been one of the most legitimate champions. You were an A team. You're a mainstream celebrity. I've known you for a long time. How does one, like say, in Bobby's position or a Jalen Turner or someone, a, a you know Raul Rosas Jr. How do these guys negotiate in today's day and age with UFC? How does one? Because, like, what he's saying is true. Where else would he go, you know? Like, so, how are they supposed to be negotiating? So, I'm going to say something that's real. Yeah. I'm going to say something that's real. Okay. Um, I, I I respect Dana. Me and Dana, we don't always see eye to eye, but I respect him for what he's done for this sport, and and he, he's good for, for the sport. But um, I wish, when I was fighting the UFC, I wish Tiki was my manager back then. Tiki is the best manager I ever had, and him and Dana, they get along. Uh, Dana White, he didn't, he didn't like my, my first manager I had when I came to UFC, and I don't blame him because I don't like that motherfucker now. And um, and then my if second manager- they don't manager, like you, they make it hard. They make it hard. So you your, your, your manager and Dana White should like see eye to eye, respect each other, get, get along, but what you doing is good. Like I ain't gonna lie, like fighting outside the cage, it's, it's not good, but we fighters though, but that shit is good promotion. I ain't telling you go around, beat up every motherfucker by their teammates and shit again, but I'm just saying, you, <laughs> what, what you do, but what you do outside the ring is gonna make you, outside the cage is gonna make you more money inside the cage. So with your interviews, and that's why I was hitting on, not just stopping here, go everywhere and be yourself because you got a good personality and shit, right? And and call out motherfuckers and, and you see what these motherfuckers doing on Twitter and shit now, this social media and shit. Promote yourself outside the cage and you're going to make more money inside the cage. And and, and make sure, you, I'm sure your, your manager and Dan and White get along great. Um, nah, bro, like, to be honest, like, I, don't, I, don't, I hate to say this shit because I feel 
cocky you got, when I say it. You got cotton mouth right now? <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Finish stop fucking with me. Okay. Yeah. I, I stop fucking with you right now. I be feeling like, uh, like cocky when I say it, but I kind of like, I just do this shit a little bit different. Like, I just move different. Like, when I'm doing a fucking podcast or some shit, it's only because I know the niggas mm. and I really like them. You know, or some money involved. That's it, really. Like, it's got to be, like, just where it moved me in the right moment. Where, like, this one guy hit me up. I did an interview. He came to the little Airbnb. I ran it for the fight. And he pulled up on me there. He's like, man, I've been trying to hit you for three years about this shit. And I've been, I guess I you know, talked to him. I don't even remember him. I didn't know he'd been trying to do it for three years. Last guy said for two years, you know. And so, it's just when the time is right, it just happens, you know. Bro, you are, you are a, a real live walking, talking video game character. Have your manager... <laughs> Get you a motherfucking PR team. <laughs> Fuck his shit, man. I know you don't like. Doing, I hate doing this shit too. What character? But that's how I make. But that's yeah, how I made my school. money though. Yeah, I'm old school. I know, man. but that's like, bro. But like, that's that's like, why to I, me it's like niggas that y'all need the cameras and shit. Like, bro, I'm mean, trying to tell. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, Grammy, I'm trying to give you the secret. Shit, what character? Like, what video game does he remind you? Yeah. Of? I, hey, if I was, if I was, if I, if I had the power, I would put this motherfucking Tekken right now. But what character would he be? He'd be his own, but King Bobby Green, like a Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be hard. And listen, bro, you have a, you have a. Perfect personality. The for, best personality. For, for your job. You know what I'm saying? I know you hate the, all the press and do all this shit. I feel you. I used to hate that shit too. But then, you know what I figured out? I figured out, you know what? That's that's how I could demand the money that I that I asked for. And Pride, man, they used to promote the shit out of me with, with, with the Japanese fans. The interviews, that shit, they, would ask, the, they would ask the Japanese fans, all right, well, who's one of your favorites? They would say my name. They would constantly bring me back. But they just wasn't paying me. They, they thought I was a stupid ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? They, wasn't, they wasn't paying me what I... Because in Pride, we couldn't, it was our contract, we couldn't talk about our purse. Really? Yeah, we couldn't. You weren't allowed to talk to media or anybody about you it. You couldn't talk to another fighter about your purse. You couldn't say how much wow. you made. Because cause, uh, some some fighters getting bent over the barrels worse than me. It, no depends, on, it depends on what country you was from. Hey, I, I don't I don't know how true this is, but um, one time I saw Fedor walking back to the hotel, and he had a dolly full of like electronics and stuff like that. And rumor was like, oh, that's all the money he made right there. They 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 brought a bunch of electronics, but I don't I don't think that was true. I don't know. But the, I heard I heard Fedor was getting ripped I got off. Got paid as well weed too. once. Damn, how much was yeah. a pound? The cold part about it, that shit was the worst <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, I fought for this little uh, what was it a uh, Long Beach company? It's called LFA or some shit at the time uh, or some shit back in the day. You fought for some weed. How much weed was it? Be honest. <laughs> It was supposed to be a pound. He gave me some bullshit, and then it was some other shit that was rolled up inside that was supposed to be better, and that shit was just okay. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, man, I can't believe I'm fighting for fucking weed. <laughs> you know? I can't believe I'm fighting for fucking weed. So I said, I've been had some days. I've been through the real trenches, bro, with this shit. Did you win yeah, that fight? Yeah. yeah. I was a little star. I won a belt. I was out of their belt. Like a couple other titles, a couple other spots. Is it is it true after the fight that there was a uh, rumors that you, Aljamain Sterling, and Jamal Hill all went out and partied with Marab? No, so uh, I fuck with Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill's my nigga, bro. Uh, he always a nigga to keep this shit real with you. He gonna always be like, when I do some bullshit, everybody, everybody like we call him yes man. Everybody like yeah, that shit was dope. I saw what you're trying to do. He gonna be like, bro, fuck what you doing. You know, he'll just call you straight on your shit. And so he's always like a big brother to me and shit like that. I've always been kind of rocking with him for the last few years. And so um, when he fought, this is now he fought because like the last time he fought, we, we wasn't so tight. We, it was actually in, enemies when we first met. Me and him hated each other. Mm -hmm. I got into it with uh, his brother. I was at a show just laughing and shit. His brother walked up was like, who was you, who was you going for? He got, got arm barred, you know? Uh, what? And he disrespected me. So then from there, I put a video out. He see that his brother just went to jail. And then he saw a video. They said that I was talking about him. And so then he started talking shit to me. And we hated each other. We finally got together and started talking about that shit. And that's my nigga, bro. And we've been riding since. What, uh, Jamal Hill went to jail? No, no, his no. Brother his brother went to jail. brother went to jail. Is it his twin brother? No, no, he ain't got no twin. Oh, okay. Cause I, I thought I saw a mugshot of Jamal Hill. I, I was kind of yeah. He had a mugshot. Yeah, he had a mugshot for something else. So he went um, to jail. Who Jamal Hill? Yeah, he went into jail for a uh, long time ago. Uh, no, no, no. It was a recent one that he had with his other brother. Oh, okay. Oh, See, that's man. why I got confused. Yeah. How many yeah. brother? How many brothers you got? A question depends. Now, how if you want me to answer it, it's kind of different. So I got brothers from different colors. 
since I've been in foster care since I was like four years old. Yeah. When my grandmother died, I've been in 50 yeah. different homes. So yeah, I remember this I didn't now. been with Mexicans. I got Mexican brothers, got white brothers, I got, you know? So you like, got a whole bunch of brothers. And, yeah, in and that you, way, in that sense. Yeah, you still talk to them? blood, yeah. I got, I think, three brothers, but one of them got killed, um, got shot up and killed. Sorry to hear that, um, But again, my grandma, my mom has kids that we don't, know about like my mm-hmm. mom she oh, okay so you don't you might not know all your yeah, brothers and stuff like bro. that. do the ones you know do they come to your fights and stuff you say the ones you know do, do they come to your fights and stuff oh uh, no 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 they don't come uh, watch you fight i only know one it's my big brother and uh, he don't come to fights and stuff that's just expensive niggas barely pay any bills you know what i mean i come from from broke shit bro the ufc doesn't give you tickets for a family or they do do you have tickets in your contract yeah I took it to my contract. They gave you four. They gave you four. But it's, it's like with those four, everybody's fighting me on them. You know, mm. who feels like they privileged to, to be there. Yeah, your corner, they, your, your, your sparring partners, you know, four, you give them to your sparring partners. And, you know, oh, really? Yeah. I, that's why I used Spar- to get, yeah, yeah. yeah. These sparring partners, they've been helping you and shit. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. I get them niggas money. Fuck that. Yeah, I, yeah, I pay them, but I give them, I give them tickets and stuff. Exactly. I used to have eight in my contract. Uh, so I used to give, I used yeah, to give them my You got family. more, I got four. I used so, to be champion though. I was, but you know, when I was fighting though, I was two hundred five was the weight class. That was that was the weight that class. That was the money class. That was the money class back then. But eight, that's good. I wasn't greedy. I'm like eight, so I used to uh, have four front row. I used to get it to my family. Then the other four, I would give it to my sparring partners and stuff. But I, I, I paid my sparring partner because sometimes them motherfuckers would get knocked the fuck out. But I paid who? Them. him. You would knock out your sparring partners? Not on purpose, but yeah. But sometimes we got closer to the fight. I'd be going. I'd be throwing them bowls, but I paid them good. My sparring partners, they got paid good. They get paid? I ain't going to say no names. Some of my sparring partners make tens of thousands of dollars. No way. Bro, my, oh, my, my, oh, my wait, training camp. That is camp- true, because we had someone when Congo was here, and he was talking about how well you took care of everybody and that those guys were yeah, making I more. I, I paid Congo in the beginning when I first met Congo, yeah. but me and Congo became brothers, so I would help him train for his fight too so yeah. he he really wouldn't he really wouldn't charge me no more after that and i would help him for his for his fight but the first time i trained with congo was for the chuck liddell uh on fight I, I flew him from france and i paid him i gave him back no, my, but, my, my, my my training camps used to cost like 150 200 thousand dollars no but they did say that because one of the guys was here i can back you up on this they said that they made more being your sparring partner than they did fighting at yeah, the time i took care of because because yeah. sometimes it got it got rough in there and sparring like people don't know about me and my training because i always Say I hate to train, I hate to train, but you know it's it's the truth. But when I get when I start training, I train like a motherfucking animal. When I when I when I train when I was young and stuff, I'm real private my training. Like you said, I should send videos out and nah, shit like yeah. of me doing shit. But I'd be like, man, I don't want to show nobody what I do or yeah. nothing like that because a lot of people ask me like, how you fight like that? You know, I wonder how and, you fight and, like and that. The only way you are gonna learn is to be around me. So I'm had to get in the ring with you. Why you? Why you? You think you gonna be able to move like, real quick? Why you? Oh, high? Okay, that's why he do it like that. You will get it. You know, you get it. To me, it's chess. It's just playing chess. You make certain moves. Okay, I look at my encyclopedia. I go, all right, he's throwing his right hand. He's throwing it like this and this. Okay, and I go, all right. Now this is the counter. I just I'm gonna start doing this stuff, and I'm gonna move this way to you know. People think I'm fighting. I don't fight the same way everybody. I'm fighting on the how you moving and how you react and the things that you're doing. You study your opponents a certain way. You study that tape. Your opponents. I used to a lot. You know, a lot more. Now I got my my coach, my head coach Sam. This motherfucker's a genius. Not you know? the old man coach. Old man coach. Uh-huh. Old man coach. He been with me since the beginning. He's responsible for my stand up. He's got. Uh, do you remember Lorenz Larkin? Yeah. He taught. He was Lorenz Larkin's head coach, mm. and he taught Lorenz a lot of the shit. And so he don't never tell you. To, man, and when you first started training, he never said, up. "Put your hands up." Yes, yes. <laughs> but how how, you, how did he? Get, he just said, "Fuck it out the wild." Huh? He understand. Bobby gonna do Bobby, you know. <laughs> Bobby gonna be Bobby, bro. Yeah, we can see it. Man, I let's mean, get his coach in here next time. I want to talk to his coach. Like, man, how you put over this motherfucker with his hands down like that? It irritates you that much. Right? It does. He was it, screaming but, at the TV. I love you, Bobby. You know, but put your hands up every time. Do, every you know, hey. we worked doing the whole camp. What? It's better protecting myself. I need you to because. You keep getting hit, like I got hit with Jalen, I got hit behind kind of by the, on the head. You know, I'm dipping off and it hit me here more so, you know? Yeah. Mm. And so he's like, no, I want you to start more wrapping around and, you know, if you're down here with your hands, you need to be up here and protect us. We did a lot more. Like I said, I could run that style too, where I could just poop, 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 and fight with you in here like this. Mm. I could run that style too. We work all these different styles, but so much more entertaining. Yeah, you know, I love you and Jalen. Both, I, I love both of y'all like brothers, you know what I'm saying? And um, when, you, when you fought him, you know, I, I didn't take no sides. I just said, look, I'm just going to watch an entertaining fight. But the only, only thing I had to say was like, man, I wish you 
pick your hands up against a taller guy. Yes, you, and you're correct, and you're mm -hmm. correct. Uh, I, listen, I never watched that fight. I never watched a fight. Yeah, I don't watch my I fight. I never fight watched when it I, at all. Shit like that. I, because why? It felt like I didn't train for Jalen for one. It was just supposed to be a fight. You know, two, mm -hmm. I felt like I got done for the first time where I'm like, man, I didn't like the way it went so fast. And so, mm -hmm. and, and my mind is like, that's kind of like a wash. Are you getting to the point where you're getting washed out, you know, where, hey, you're getting beat up like that. But I have to tell myself and explain it to, like, skills pay the bills. Right. I can go run it back right after just losing it. Watch it. I'll show you my next fight. Yeah. You're like, what the? He ain't missed a beat. Right. You know, I ain't missed a beat from that. That was yesterday, so I never really watched it. But my coach made me watch it two days, three days before the fight. And I watched it. I'm like, man, I was winning the fight up until getting hit, you know? And so I'm like, man, he didn't outskill me where I felt like, he beat me with skills where I was like, oh, fuck, he was beating this whole fight. And then I got dropped. Yeah. Anything you know? can happen in, in the case. Like anything a lot of fans happen. and a lot of people that don't fight, they really don't understand that. Like anything can happen in, in MMA. That's why I love the sport so much because anything can happen at any given time. Look at look at um, Max Holloway and, and Gay Cheese. Oh. Wait, who? I felt like I was going to get the fight at night. And then they came and stole it. They stole that shit. Stole it. Yeah, yeah, because you did good. Yeah, and then they overshadowed my shit. It's like, fuck. Yeah, I know. You was the only one who wasn't happy about that motherfucker knocked out. Oh, man. man. I thought I was going to give me a little 300, you know, to go on top. What you would have did with the bonus if they gave you a bonus? They gave me the bonus? No. Um, 300 free. In your mind, it's 300 free, free um, thousand man. dollars. What I was planning to do was, I'm supposed to buy this little farm and shit. I'm going to be a little farmer. I got it. Bryce Mitchell. I got. I, I bet you I can guess what the fuck are you gonna be growing in this farm. <laughs> Nigga, I bet fuck you I can yeah. guess. I bet you I can guess what you gonna be growing. Uh, you wanna be a farmer? Be done, don't be. Why you snitching? No, I ain't snitching. I ain't saying what it is. I ain't no more about snitching. I thought you dry snitching. No, no nigga, dry now who dry snitching? Bro, Mr. it's legal. It's legal if you do it in the right motherfucking place. But I'm just saying, if he gonna be a farmer, I can't. I can't picture him out there with the with the overalls all over the place. Nah, probably gonna grow weed, bro. Look at that. Why you snitching on the motherfucker? Not snitching. Yeah, he just snitched. You just snitched. I had snitched. He just snitched. You dry snitched, but he snitched. What? What do you mean? He said, "I know what you're gonna be growing." No, yeah, that's a no. joke. You like, just, I, just uh, dry. No, 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 you went straight to it. Crazy. You Come went on. straight to it. How come you guys all team up on me, but when I support you, you get happy, but then you like to bully me with him? You play both ways, brother. Now, now how you gonna disrespect that guest like that? That's di that's di that's disrespect. Just keep it real. But I know I'm covered in smoke. I can't even breathe. Bro, I'm, I got contact high. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I feel it in my motherfucking chest. I'm high as fuck. And I gotta go. I, got, we, I gotta go train. Up, as we wrap this up, we, we got train, two we more train. things. I still can train with you after this shit, too. Man, I'm too high to fucking train. My uh, coach gonna be here and he don't play that shit. He, he gonna be mad as fuck with me because I ain't trained yesterday. I had court yesterday. Okay. Are I was you in, moving around in the gym I, today? Yeah. All right, good. I was in the mood to train yesterday. See, look, my, my thing is that um, Rampage even though over the years, I learned how to control my temper. But the but the one time where where I, I really it's hard for me to control it is when I'm training because I don't really want to be there. So so yesterday when days like that normally I don't leave the house but I I gotta come do the podcast. So yes. I was like fuck I'm drinking some tequila. Oh, we had fun. You turned it around. You turned yeah, it good yeah, into a yeah, bad day. Yeah because I drank some tequila. No, but no, but for the audience, one thing I want to say is that a lot of people leave this. They leave comments that we have a lot of good times. We always joke around and we love, we bring on guests who know us and it's fun. But one thing I want to say is for all the kids out there that watch this that are young, Rampage yesterday was faced with a, a difficult day, came through that day. But one thing that I commend you on, I think the audience, sometimes people need to hear this is sometimes when you're, you're having a rough day, sometimes when you're not in the best mood, it's good to surround yourself with people who care about you, who want the best for you, and not people who who drain you of your energy. And yesterday, Rampage, you surround yourself with your friends, you turn a bad day into a good day. And sometimes people, when they're having a bad day, they just got to get out of the house and they got to go hang out with their friends, not right. just sit at home and dwell on right. it. Right, you know? I, I agree Exercise, with you. kids, exercise. Exercise is going to really uh, sometimes relieve your mind, give you enough to, sometimes the picture may be feeling like it's the end of the world. And after exercise, I feel like, it gives you enough to just look back at the picture and it looks a little mm. smaller. You can step away from it and go, all right, this is a problem and kind of analyze it better. I appreciate that, that's Bobby. Yeah, and yeah, that's, that's all joking good. aside, Rampage, and I appreciate you. You set the tone for the for the Jacks in the house here for sure, 100%. Yo, as we get ready to wrap this up, I got a few things I got to ask you, okay? Besides so, the, the squirt. Have you ever asked before you roll up another blunt, though? You going to throw up? No, I was going to. Holy <clears throat> shit. <laughs> This probably yeah. this probably the highest he ever been. It's like not he, even he, high. Never, he never smoked with you high. No, I'm not not even if, close. I, if I got a contact high, you down when you you, I, I, you high? I, I'm not even close, bro. You high? You just don't know it. Yeah, you gonna start feeling funny. 
He gonna get the yeah, must. I, 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 I think he gonna be eating the whole bunch. He'll get the yeah, must. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John C. Riley and Will Ferrell over here, Step Brothers. You know what I mean? All right, listen. So we we heard you uh, had some thoughts on Michael J. White's story about moving around with John Jones. You have something to say about that? What? Yeah, why you why you trying yeah. to put words in his mouth? He didn't he didn't say he didn't, I, I was right there when no, the I, said I, would, I would like to move around with him. I said fighters don't understand the distance and stuff like that's why I feel like Michael Michael Venom Page has so much success. Uh, Wonder Boy has so much success is that they're coming across this gap so fast and with accuracy that you got to be really ready for them. You know. Hey, um, speaking of Michael J. White, would you be interested in doing movies and stuff after you retire from fighting or anything? You like that type of stuff? Yeah, that'd be dope. That'd what, be dope. What kind yeah. of movie you want to be in? I don't know. I figure I play a, a My warrior boss. movie, a fucking a battle warrior movie, a fucking gangster movie, a fucking. Uh, I can do a little bit of everything, you know, just did, whatever. Bro. Did you watch that Roadhouse with Conor McGregor? I watched a little bit of it. I, I, I watching it. I just got a little too cheesy. Connor was just too cheesy for me at the, some moments. Oh, for real? But oh. it's, it's acting like it. Was his acting good? Because I didn't get a chance to see it yet. Because I thought it was going to be in the movie theaters. But they say it's on Pull up a Amazon. clip, Loco. Pull up a clip. It's like, because you, you've seen the guy, and then you see the acting. And I think acting's got to be more natural without looking like acting. It's got to look real still, you know? And so somebody's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, you don't be mad like that, you know? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the McGregor? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a little beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, like, okay, like, like, okay, it's just got too cheesy. I was like, it's cheesy. You know, I just, I, just, I, I, I don't thought know. McGregor looked lethal. Look, I thought he looked you, you, watched, you watched the movie? Yeah, I thought McGregor looked epic. But he's he not talking about that part. He looked, he looked, yeah, yeah, the, bill, the bill was oh, right. He's ready the bill for was Chandler right. at 170. Yeah, the, yeah, the bill don't even yeah. shit. He was ready. I saw the but clip. No, but it's supposed to be he didn't drop down. I saw the clip of when he crashed up the bar with the with the Q tip. I, I said that motherfucker ain't acting. That's probably, oh, that's when, probably when, yeah, when he smacked the little shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like that part. Because he yeah, smashed yeah. that window of the bus. That's what got, that's what got yeah. me the little yeah. video clip. The yeah. video clip, like it looked like, oh, it looked cool. Yeah. And then I started watching it like right, then you had to turn that shit off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, you shouldn't have let me hit, but you <laughs> some shit. Oh, McGregor, I love the Oh, judo. Dude, Carol Parisian right there. Oh, he did a, point, a five on one Bobby where, right there. That's, where that's, Jake Gillen, Jake, whatever guy. That was you with Armin, Armin's teammates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the elbow. See, this oh, shit look fun. See, I like to do some shit like that. Oh, you would kill this. You you would actually fight, though. I know you. No, Someone yeah, would yeah. hit you. Didn't Chael Sonnen break a real bottle over your head? No, it was a um, it was a movie bottle, but that shit still cut my mother. But it was that, that guy. That guy. Beginning of the movie, he gets a knife stabbed in him. This Ooh. guy right here? Yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, yeah. He take, get a knife stabbed in him. It's like, he doesn't even move. He doesn't ouch. He doesn't, hey, he just, hey, you left your knife. I'm like, oh, it's like, bruh, they got a little too cheesy. Loco, lower the volume just a little bit so we don't get flagged. Wow, so Jake Gyllenhaal goes to square up against McGregor? You know, one versus one in the bar? Hey, did, hey, did you hear that McGregor made um, history, though? Yeah. With the, uh, the biggest payday for the first uh, first time actor? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was that's really Massive cool. amounts. What'd you hear? Crazy. Do you know how much? Five mil? Yeah. I he, heard around he, there. Bro, bro, pay attention to him a little bit. He cracked the code in the Matrix. He yeah. did. You need hey, you need to patch that wow. through. You talking about five that. mil? Yeah. Patch me Yo, over there. On the I tried. I tried to tell you some stuff, but you didn't want to hear. I just no, tried what to hear that. What? what? what I, I was crack. Speak on it. I want to hear that. Yeah, what bro. You, what you... But everything he said, he's speaking in, in in existence. He's speaking in existence. Manifestation. He, he, yeah, he cracked the code though. He mm. he cracked the code. I, I know that a long time ago. This is my first time. He's I being serious right now. No, I am high. Yeah. Normally, I keep shit to myself. Yeah. See, this is the thing about me. I know a whole lot of shit. That um, I, I feel like life is like chess, but it's also like poker. So I don't show my cards. I don't show my cards a lot. But I did try to tell you a little bit. I tried to tell you a little bit, but you were like, nah, you didn't want to hear it. But, you, you, but it's, understand, it's understandable. For those who have ears, let them hear No, no, no. I hear you were telling me earlier about doing more podcasting, more interviews. Because of your personality. If you was yeah. a boring motherfucker, I, would, I said, man, yeah, that I, shit. I heard that. I heard that. I, I'm more so saying it like. Uh, Speaking into existence. Like when I told you. 
the man that says something hard and the same man that says something easy, they both right. I'm giving you, I'm giving it to you right there, but you got to hear it. Yes, sir. Crack the, crack the code like he did. That's what I did. I cracked the code, but then some shit happened to me, and you can fuck yourself up too, because it's all right here. I was on top of the world. Then I had some fucking, you got to get certain people away from around you. I had some fucked up people around me that's real negative, and and they and I'm still trying to get that shit back. I know I know it. I felt I know it's out there. I got so strong in that shit, I was doing it instantly. I was manifestation, manifesting shit instantly. You can get it. You got that power. You crack the code. Yes, sir. Rampage, what plays into the ability for you to wake up every day, always have a good energy, good smile, good attitude? I mean, that's one thing that everybody loves you when we talk about your superstar power. I think that's that's something the audience always the, wants to know too. The, well, this is the thing about me. The reason the reason why I am the way I am, my 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 personality is because um like growing up, I was a white sheep in my family. My family didn't fuck with me. My, I'm keeping it real. I love my family. Uh, you know, I ha- everybody have like their own family, but my family didn't fuck with me. And I was um I was always mad. I was always mean. I was always upset. My family fuck, fucked with me all the time. Like when I used to lose my temper, it used to amuse them because uh, I, I couldn't control it. I, I used to hyperventilate. And you know how you need to blow in the brown bag, but I didn't have one. And so my cousins and, and my siblings, they thought it was cool to do that. Then I used to fucking go hog wild, kick all their ass, but then I would get in trouble. And so my life, like I, I thought about ending it a couple of times. I thought about running away. And I was like, fuck it, I just gotta be happy. I just gotta be happy. You know, I was I thought I was gonna get myself also. My throat was always hurting because I was always mad. That's why I can make the mean face so 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 easy. That's why I hate taking pictures because my family used to say how ugly I was all the time. I hate fucking taking pictures. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not they, photogenic they, either. Yeah, they, it fucks with you as you know, as you know, your childhood fucks with you as a as an adult. So that's why I'm always cracking jokes and always being positive, always being happy because I know what it's like to be in that negative space, and it's it's really bad, very unhealthy for you. Mm. And so, you know, what I'm saying I, my 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 temper got me uh, in trouble a couple of times. You know, sent me to uh, jail. Now I was like, fuck that, I ain't, I ain't going back. You know, so what I saying? got one question for you. I was looking you up, right? And I totally forgot about this. You don't want to share. You don't want to share. Mm. It was a situation where you were in. A Bronco or a truck like OJ or something like that. <laughs> Damn, and man. you was driving around or something. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, you... Because the whispers. Remember the whispers? Yeah, I remember the Those whispers. Those were the whispers. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And 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 niggas tell me what really happened from their side of the yeah. story. What you want to know? I tell you the truth. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And so we'll talk about it off camera. No, I talk about it on camera. I don't give a yeah, fuck. My man. life is a, my life is a book. And, I'm writing a book right now anyway. Yeah. You don't have to say too much, but if no, you want to answer. No, I keep I get what you want to know. It was the know? highest levels of when you're at the highest levels that, that would come with the with that. Yeah, that that um around that time, you remember I told you I was manifesting stuff instantly and stuff like that? The weird thing is that I lost that fight. And I was really strong on my manifestation. If you go back and watch that fight with Forrest, that's right at the fight with Forrest. He injured he injured my 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 leg. In the first round, and in between the rounds, I healed my leg up mentally. I healed it. My leg was fucked. I've never had a calf kick before, right? But this is the thing that the manager that I had at the time, I wanted to fire him, and because I, I stopped trusting, I can't say too much because that motherfucker sued me. But anyway, I heard him say in the interview, "If if Rampage lose this fight, I'm I'm retiring." Right? So what I know about manifestation, all this stuff, it's like some stuff being in the back of your mind. I wanted to win that fight because it's my belt, but at the same time. I wanted to lose, so that so that fucked with me. So after the after the fight, like me and that guy, we were so close. He was like a father figure, and um, I can't really talk about what what happened, but whatever happened, it, it depressed me that I couldn't eat and I couldn't sleep. Cause I'm if you get to know me, I'm a good motherfucker. Like if you ask me for something, I got it. You can if, if you are close to me, it's yours. I'm not just saying that to make myself like a, a real person. Like yeah, anybody, that's true. Same anybody, here, same I can, here. Yeah, anybody same that know here. know me, they know yeah, that, right? I can tell. So. I don't feel like nobody can have to take anything from me. Mm-hmm. Anybody that's close to me, if they yeah, need something, right? Yeah, I feel so, the same way. So, so people one, still. But hurt what happened feelings. with that? What happened with that truck though? I, I used to have an R8, and um, I was going to get to my friend really fast. And the first time ever, I parked that fucking truck. I had a bunch of cars. I had like, I still got a bunch. I like cars. I parked that motherfucking truck behind my fucking R8. I was going to go in my R8, get there fast. So my my thought was that I was going to move the truck. Then jump in my R8 and get there fast. I just had to show my friends something because one of my friends was having problems. I remember him talking about 
about it in training camp because um, um, prior to that, I had turned religious. I used to be real religious. And he saw me because he was one of my star sparring partners. He sparred with me all my fights. He never asked me for shit. He never even asked me for tickets. He never, he never, he wouldn't accept money, but he used to get beat up by me to help me win my fights. And he was having problems in training camp. And he pulled me outside. He said, Hey, I see that you're different now. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? You're religious and you praying and you talking to God and stuff like that. He said, What's going on with that? And I told him straight up, my opinion, what I know, I'm like, Bro, this shit's real. God's real. The devil's real, bro. Like I, I met, I met both of them, bro. I told him, I said, then you know, what I'm saying it's gonna come a part in time in your life where you got to choose which side you on, you know, especially when you get up there in fame and stuff like that, you know. And I said, like, I chose the right side, you know. So I'm with the Most High, and He changed my life. He gave me a new heart. He did this, and He said, He said, yeah, I'm going, I'm having some problems and stuff in my life. He told me some deep stuff. And I'm like, man, you know, what I'm saying you need me, and I'm here for you. Then that day, like, I think I, I know, I know the Most High. Everything happened for a reason. That day, I, I, I received the Holy Ghost Spirit again. And my ex-wife, she's the only person, there's two people that ever saw me, um, you know, get the Holy Ghost Spirit. Her and my, my old best friend, they got the same birthday, which is weird. And she saw me, and uh, she's there. And she she witnessed me and her, we don't talk no more. But she witnessed that. And I, and that, that time, it was a crazy thing because I was responding to God, and I was singing to him. I never felt like that before. And uh, he told me, be obedient and do what I say. He said, you're gonna go to jail, but you're gonna get out the same day. You're not gonna get hurt, nobody's gonna get hurt, but I need you to do this. And so that's what I did. I went to my friend and I showed him uh, a message. And the message was, just be happy. Don't 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 matter what is going on, just make yourself happy, find something, be happy. And uh, my friend, he, he asked me like, when all this shit came down, like a couple of weeks ago, we was in the gym just sitting around training. And um, he asked me, he said, what? What what made you come see me that day? And I'm like, I, I, somebody gave me a message to me to go see you. I said, what was going on that day? He said, oh man, I was finna take my own life. Bro, I, I don't cry. I don't cry. I cried. I was like, damn. But you know what I'm saying? I had to do it. I'll do it again. I got in a lot of trouble for it, like in the media and stuff like that. But the good thing was they they did my blood. I wasn't on drugs. I wasn't drunk. So, that, so I didn't, I, it was like, it wasn't a hard case or nothing like that. And I'm gonna tell you something, the reason why I respect Dana, Dana was the only motherfucker there helping me. Yeah. Dana no White way. Dana White came. He helped me and he took care of me. Dana, that's why I, I, no matter if we don't see eye to eye, Dana know that deep down I, I respect him. Dana had my back. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. See I'm saying? Yeah. Same similar situation with, with me. It's when my brother got killed. My little brother got killed. At the time, I think I just got in the UFC. You know, um, I didn't blew all my money already. Cause I didn't went and bought my girl a ring. I remember I proposed to her. You know, I bought her a ring. Oh, that's a house. I paid the uh, rent off for the whole year just to make sure she'd be safe. You know, she was getting ready to have the baby and stuff. And so, like, I just spent all my money quick like this. And at least I want to make sure we had everything taken care of. And so, um, my brother gets killed, and I don't got enough money for his funeral. The UFC paid for that shit. You know what I mean? I was like, oh. wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. they pay for that shit. So I never forget that yeah, shit. They know real like, one. People don't know. Yeah, people don't understand yeah. that. Like people talk about how you treat the fighters. I, I learned this too later that actually we do get paid more than boxers. We get paid more than boxers. UFC yeah. fighters get yeah, because only the top one percent of boxers making that type of money. Wait, yeah. I need you to re-break yeah. that down because that's a huge point that the whole internet talks about. Why don't yeah. you break? Hey, as we get ready to wrap this up, I want to finish up with this, and then I got one more thing for you. But break that down for oh, the audience. Okay, so so think about this. I thought that all boxers was making millions and millions of dollars. No, man. I, I, cause you know, I was trying to do some boxing. Over, I'm trying to do some boxing over there out of the country and stuff like that, right? And I, and I'm seeing what they paying people. Boxers don't 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 make that much. Some boxers be making like fucking. They be happy to get twenty five thousand dollars, bro, for fighting. Uh-huh. So M- MMA guys, we we say we make say we make um five hundred thousand dollars for a fight, and we can fight. When I was young, I used to fight six times a year. How many times you see a boxer fight? Canelo's the only one we see him fighting that much, but he's one of the top percenters. But yeah. the rest of the boxers, they ain't making that money. MMA guys, and UFC guys, we actually get paid more than boxers, but we have that stigma that we don't. Yeah. But we, but we actually do. We make more money, and then we make more of it because we fight more times a year than them. Yeah. yeah, it's just that. But we ain't making Floyd Mayweather money. Only person did that was Conor McGregor because he he cracked the code. Oh, cracked one, that code. one thing I gotta touch upon as a business too. 
UFC fighters get 10 times more in terms of sponsorship than what people actually really think. Because first of all, most boxers only get paid when the cards come, some of the bigger ones. But in terms of the overall, you're talking to someone from the business side, I can tell you that UFC fighters, being an MMA fighter, what Dana White's done for the organization. I don't know Dana White. I, I have no But that's now, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like that back then. It, it wasn't like that back in the day. That's why UFC had just settled for their antitrust yeah. lawsuit. Cause it, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. But in boxing, Boxer, they make eighty percent, and a promoter makes twenty. Mm. And UFC is 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 the other way around, but we still make more money than box. One thing after the fight, UFC three hundred, Dana White said that he gave a bunch of undisclosed bonuses. Were you one of those guys? Yeah, yeah. Man, don't talk, don't talk about don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. Don't talk. The one time Dana gave me a bonus, yeah, and I talked about it. He never gave me another one. Why? He, gave, he gave me a he gave me a private bonus. Oh, he gave me a bonus when I fought Chuck that was bigger than my purse. And I and I, I was I, you know I was giving him props for doing it, and then uh, he never gave me nothing. And I talked to him years. Ago, I said, Dana, did I fuck up talking about the bonus that you gave me? He said, Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. Dana White got yeah, mad that you went public with a private bonus. See, that's, 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 that's the knowledge we actually yeah, yeah, want to hear. Yeah, yeah. If Dana give you, un, don't yeah. talk, don't don't Wait, don't say nothing to nobody. Why, why would he be upset that you were just giving him props? Because I, I think because Chuck was his boy. Oh. So God. I I shouldn't say that. Dana Dana took me to the. Uh, it looked suit. like like well now you give him and they hear that why well, you didn't give me the you know yeah that was the first time we was on e, uh, UFC's on ESPN that was huge for them and it was uh, exciting and I did a good promo so I know you yeah. it wasn't that I knocked out Chuck Dana was doing what he thought was right because you know I came I came in there you know I I do good promos and stuff like that Dana used to fuck with me he um he brought me some Armani suits and shit he brought me like four or five of them motherfuckers okay, okay. yeah sure. Dana man Dana used Dana used to take him the R eight he gave me the R eight for free. He didn't want to get my 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 um manager a signing bonus. When I used to sign a contract, I used to ask for a signing bonus. No my, way. My manager got kind of greedy. That motherfucker asked for a million dollars. Dan, uh, Dan like, man, because he know I got to get him 10%. So I didn't oh. give you no million dollars. I said, give me that R8. Because that motherfucker wasn't even out yet. Because that motherfucker get calls. He said, give me that R8. He said, what's R8? He looked up. Oh, that's a slick ass car. You, you sure you don't want a Ferrari Lamborghini? I'm like, no, I want that motherfucker. And he wow. get, for a signing bonus, he gave me a R8 for free. See Dana White, he he plays the game, and people don't know that about him. But the guy's no, he a real motherfucker. No, 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 he a, he a real motherfucker. But th just don't get on his bad side. Yeah. Don't get on his bad side because you know he, you know what I'm saying. He know what he's doing. He, he legit. You know, like I said, I don't see I don't see out of everything that he do. But you you can't say that he no fucked up motherfucker. He just it's just your personal just your your personal relationship that you have with him. I'm just trying to make my little money and shit, bro. I keep it cool with everybody. Like my check. I'm gonna make them too many ways. Use your personality more. Use your mouthpiece more. Do those interviews and just be yourself. Don't don't do it like I did. You know, I, I took it a little bit too far sometimes with a few uh, female reporters and shit like that. But <laughs> but but me, I'm I'm a comedian pretending to be a fighter. Yeah, people yeah, people yeah. don't understand it's that. Funny you, side of you. Yeah yeah, you ain't no comedian. See, I I me I make fun of myself to get a laugh. Cause remember I told you earlier, I like to let cause this is for me. I have to I have to keep laughing. I didn't name myself. I didn't, I didn't name myself. I ain't, all these names I got from my government to my nickname. I ain't never, I ain't never give myself one. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I am who I am. I, I like to keep laughing and stuff like that because I don't, sometimes I don't trust myself. I don't, I don't trust, I don't trust myself because my temper, when you have a temper like mine, it can send me to prison, right? So I, I have to like, I have to like be in a good, good vibration. Space. Yeah, I got to be in good vibration. So I'm yeah. a comedian. I I like to lay up, joke around, and sometimes you know how you, you some comedians, some shit don't land, and some shit people take the wrong. Back in those days, it was funny, but now kids are watching this shit now, and they I'm they like doing my fight like that. Yeah. Like I keep my good energy around the fight energy. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Yeah. be laughing and shit like that. Yeah. I had the whole bus laughing. Me, Jalen was on it too. Just let him know, like, it ain't even an issue like that. Like, man, I had him laugh, and we all was dying together. But uh, me, him, and Wei Lee, you know what I mean? The, so, Asian, the Asian chick? The Asian chick. So she's she on speak with her little, trans, uh, with her little uh, translator. translator and shit. And I have my coach. I'm like, coach, I want to ask her a question. He's like, what? And I'm like, I want to ask her. It's this scene in Rush Hour, right? Rush Hour 2, where... <laughs> Chris thinks they finna go out and they finna go clubbing and shit, right? Yeah. He like, yeah, we finna go clubbing. But really, Jackie Chan and took his ass on a little trip to, and he doing detective work. He took him to a club <laughs> full of Yakuza's, a whole bunch of cases oh, yeah, and yeah, shit, yeah. you know? So he up there, he get that motherfucker off the stage, you know what I mean? I'm singing a Michael Jackson song. He up there singing it. And then uh, Jackie Chan told him to get off stage, you know? He's like, hey, I knew you was working. So I remember this shit and I had it like memorized in my head 
And what he said, and I want to see if it was really what he said. And so I asked her translator, I was like, he said some shit like, uh, he comes on stage, he's like, Jotai, Jotai, Jotai. He's like, uh, Oha Nene, Joati, Fungao, right now. <laughs> That's what he said. What'd she say? And so she was like, I don't know. I don't know. And then we at least start hearing me talk about this shit. So then she like, she's like, yeah, ask her, you know? So I should tell him where you lead now. Oha Nene, Joati, Fungao, right now. You know? She's like, I think you mean, Nene? I mean, like to whip your butt, like, like. Oh yeah, he said so to fuck that what shit. What he said in, in on the on the on the club thing, he said, uh, "What?" He went back. He said, "What did I say to them?" Jack Jen said, "You told them all to pull your samurai swords out and spank your butt." <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, so I told her this shit. She was like. I don't know about that. I had the whole bus is dying. Uh, hey, next time you talk to her, actually, she like black niggas and give her my phone number. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank God. You what? Gotta slide. What? He he pulled out the comedy. You go straight for the number. Yeah, 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 yeah. She cool. Was she cool with you and stuff like that? Yeah, she was cool. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Say, cool. hey, tell tell her rampage. Say he got a crush on you. So um, really, yeah, man. You were in there. Yeah, man. Why not? She gonna be kicking the shit out. Yeah, you want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he want to do a little nogi with her at home. What? That's right? No, what? do your thing. What's wrong with that? Whatever you're into. Man, she, yeah, she not bad. She got, you know what I'm saying? She got nice. I've never yeah. been in Asian chicks. That's you never, the first to me. Bro, once you go Asian, you never go back Caucasian. Yeah. Oh, nah, this is a joke. <laughs> Don't I, say I, that. I, <laughs> you talked to Jim Miller since the fight? No, no. Did he DM you? Uh, not that I know. Maybe uh, not that I know, but I got so many messages. Bro, I don't even been paying attention. Y'all gonna cut that shit out though, right? I gotta do all my other shit. No, not a chance. Listen, as we get ready to wrap this up, has the UFC responded to you about wanting the red Paisley shorts since uh, Max Holloway got the Hawaiian print you know shorts? I mean, I want my bandana. I want you my want bandana. Paisley red shorts. That's what he wants to fight in. You know, oh, you mad at bandana? Me. Oh, yeah. mad and so I don't. No, I, it don't got to be red. It don't got to be red. <laughs> like I know I always rock red shorts. That's my thing. But should I wear them in black? You know what I mean? I wear them in. White bandana, I work them with every way, you know. You just want bandana. bandana print. Yeah, bandana print. Bro, know? bro, I, I see. Look, I'm against gangs. He don't say why I say that, but I'm telling you something. I no, see I what he do. I, I swear to God, doing, I didn't though. mean it. I swear my mom, I didn't mean it. By okay, but, 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 the red part. I swear no, I didn't no, mean no, it. No, 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 no. He just had a story no, with the red no, bandana. No, no, no. I see. No, no. I see what you're saying. I like that. See, that's what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. That's the hey, stuff I'm talking about. And so it's me, like. Then bandana don't just represent gang to me. It represents street, you know. Yeah, yeah, it represents yeah. something yeah, raw yeah. more so than like, like, cause I don't own bang. I'm not from no gangs or none of that shit. Like, but I just got a lot of people around me that I've been with from all these walks of lives that yeah. I understand the life and I've lived that life with them. So yeah. I don't know. I always still want to stay true to my bro, streets. Bro, I know? understand. I get it. I just I, the reason why I didn't like them because when I grew up in Memphis, the motherfuckers was the ones that used to jump me and shit. And they wanted me to join that gang because I could fight. But, same here, same but I, I never like. They but, wanted me to join too. So yeah, understand it. You identify with Daisy Street, but if Bear was a fighter, he would ask Dana for the dildo print of uh, fucking shorts. No, what <laughs> kind yeah, of print is that? Dildo print. Yeah, what is yeah. that? He want the dildo. Bunch of Johnsons all over. all over it. He want the Johnson, Johnson and Johnson. No, I would never get sponsored by Johnson and Johnson. What is that? Oh, <laughs> you know what Johnson and Johnson is? No, yeah, that's the, I would I wouldn't want that on my shorts. Oh, okay. Johnson and Johnson. The brand, the shampoos, and I don't want. I'm you don't good. want that. You don't want that. The yeah, baby powder and all yeah. this stuff. No. Shlong the, the, dong, <laughs> all on your shit. What is that? You'll figure it out. You'll <laughs> learn one day. Is that a brand or something? You'll learn one day. Yeah. <laughs> is that a brand? Yeah, I, I feel. I feel what you're saying. That's good. I hope they get it to you. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to do something different. You know, those be the like first shorts I buy. Else. If they did that and they started selling those, those be the first fucking shorts I buy. Three XL. So I think uh, send them right to his door. They three, do, three, yeah. three. You want to come at me like that? Three XL for real? Three XLs. One for me. One for you. One for Loco. Three XLs. Okay. Everything he does has to be confrontational. Yeah. Then they doing mm -hmm. uh, the Manchester event. I think they doing uh, looking for uh, Tom. That's when I'll fight. Oh, wow. Anyway, he's probably going to probably main event that. I'll be the co-main event. I'll fight Patty, you know? Oh, that'd be good. That'd is be the good. Patty fight for sure? Uh, Nothing yet. Nothing. Oh, wow. When, yeah. when, is, that, when is that Manchester uh, fight? July. July. I might be done with I'm, July what? The end of July? I got a couple oh, movies no, to do. July 20-something. Yeah. Let's I'm, go sit courtside. If you're the co-main event in July against Patty Batty, me and Rampage, I'll fly him out there. We will go. We'll sit there. We'll party, we'll yeah, have fun, around, and yeah, we'll man. sit front row. We, we find I mean, your private your jet. Stories. You be doing some we'll wild take... shit on your stories. I'm like, man, where does yes, he Yes, sir. Yeah, you've seen his spots. stories. Yep. I'll be, you be in some spots. I'll be all over the place. Yeah, yeah I oh. know. you in some spots. I'm like, show me what's up. You know? That's where you big brother me. Hey, yeah. check this out. You been here? Yeah, you tried this? 
You know? I'll show you, you some spice. Yeah. You've been you watching his stories? Yeah, I've been mean, watching yeah. all his little shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he can hang with me. Luke couldn't even hang on with me one time. I'm young, but Luke passed out. He's yeah, trying to look around. I hold mine. I hold mine. Oh, yeah, but he don't drink though. No, no I, I don't think I, he'd be I'll able drink to hold on occasion. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I want to. If Luke couldn't hold if up, if I'm no with you, Monica, bro, I'm gonna drink with you. We gonna have a good time. You know, I just like be honest. I don't be like how drink drinking be making yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah bro, make I don't people. Like it. Yeah, either violent. You know. Yeah, I chill. I chill. I chill. Best of homies fight over alcohol. Yeah, I chill. I stayed home and they never forgive each other. You know. When you get older, man, that shit don't. That shit don't feel. But they, they, they were surprised I didn't have a hangover because I got fucked up yesterday. You were hammered yesterday. I woke up this morning, did cardio and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was. I woke up. Walked in here all. I woke up seven o'clock. I woke up six, seven o'clock this morning. and I did my cardio. Came in, like, he was he they, yesterday when he left. He was a little hammered, and he was walking down the the, the little alley right here, and he screamed, "Don't go chasing he waterfall!" Shit, I'm like, man. "What is wrong oh, with this guy?" Man, all right, like, we, you got me man, crazy. We out, we out of here. He was man. doing carpool karaoke. Yeah. Hey, listen, before we go, Patty to the Batty, I want to know something. UFC gives you that fight. You're obviously taking it. If they don't give you that fight, who else do you want? Who else do I want? Uh, I'll probably go after Hanato. I feel like since Jalen beat me. I beat Nato. I kind of jump over Jalen without having to fight him again. Even though, you know, I, I hate to win it, but sure, you know, I always want to run this shit back with people, you know? I think nine times out of ten, I beat most fighters at a fight. Did you watch the Jalen Money Mokano fight? Um, no, no. I was doing a bunch of interviews at the time, so I didn't. I, I heard it. I saw him drop. Yeah. And I wonder why he walked away. And all of a sudden... I'm um, like he was losing. I heard it. I said he had him rocked and hurt. And he dropped. Yeah, I was ups it. I was upset with Jalen about that. I haven't said nothing like, to him because I'm sure everybody coming in like that. I didn't get but. to watch. It. Like I yeah. was walking by as pieces into to yeah. interviews, and so I seen a little bit of that. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something though. Real talk. Jalen is a real good dude, right? Yeah. So he is. he got he 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 felt some type of way after y'all fight, right? So he that did? yeah. So that probably played in his mind a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So he was like he didn't want to get a guy too much damage. So you gotta understand like. It's like a little fine line when it comes to that, you know. So he got to, he had to when figure I see that him, out. Nigga, every time I see the nigga, I'm like, nigga, it's all love. You know what I mean? I'm just yeah. glad you're up. Yeah. I know they paid him to take it on short notice and stuff like that. So I'm just glad you up, bro. And I want to see all my niggas be up, you know. Bro, man, I'm telling you something. Jalen, he's like, he's like a really good dude. He felt some type of way after that fight. Mm -hmm. And the referee should have stopped that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and so you think I understand. That's what played into Jalen walking I, away. I think that's what played into him walking walking off. He wanted to just you know because yeah. sometimes in MMA people fall like that, then the fight's Fuck over. But that, but the guy bro. he bounced right back up, which was Fuck yeah. all that. Go in. You got to talk yeah. to him. Hit him up Go and talk in. to him. Let him let him know, man. Listen, dog. You know. Yeah, do, I, I, yeah. All I said in one text because to be honest, at the time I had still watched the fight and I just felt like I was still battling with some demons myself. You know, battling I was like, eh, did I fall off? You know, everybody's questioning that. No, man. You know? Don't, don't let that play in your mind at all, man. Just prove it, you know? Like, oh, my skills are there. I just made a couple mistakes. Fighting is what yeah. I call a game of inches, you know? Or you just could just miss by an inch, you know? Or he got you just a little in an inch, you know? You be playing that game, too, game of inches, don't you? Oh, you have to every day. Yeah. You got to work yeah, harder. He, yeah, he be playing. Every day. Yeah. Hey, when I, fought, hey when, I, when I lost to um, Shogun, my, my team thought I felt off. Remember I told you I turned religious? Yeah. I, I turned religious. I got. I got. Speaking of fighting, I was gonna ask you that real fast. What's that? Oh, oh, oh. I'm like from watching you. I learned from watching like certain fighters. Like I watch you. I watch Rashad. All the black fighters. I'm like things to not to do. And one of my lists of what I got from you was you. You should have known everybody was gonna try to get your front leg. It's to stay away from your power. It's the easiest. It's the closest thing to touch. They're gonna either do that. Or they're gonna try to wrestle you. You know, on that front leg. And so I always made sure my wrestling and tackle round would be getting taken down a lot like that, you know? I'm like, oh, I'll pop back up, I'll whoop through, I'll reverse them, I'll hit some shit, I'll, 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 I'll re-wrestle off of their shots, you know what I mean? Type shit like that. But that's where I just made sure I noticed it. It's like, oh, nah. And that's what a lot of guys try to do to me. Like, for the right the fight started, all you're going to do is kick. I knew you were going to do that. Yeah. That's what you're going to do because that's the safest yeah. thing you can have do. You, have you ever fought injured? Bunch of times. So, so I don't. More than I found healthy. So that's why that's why that's why I've been for a couple of years. But I ain't, I don't tell nobody. I don't wear I don't wear knee braces in the, in, the, yeah. in the fights. So, you know I, so, so like, I, if you I watch did my, me. Yeah. I'll be instead of like checking, even checking kicks. I'll just <clears> turn <throat> my stance and, and let them move out the way that way instead. So I'm not taking the damage. To, yeah. the damage, you know, with yeah. it. Damage so, so damage. me people think I don't check kicks, but in the UFC, I ain't think nobody kicked hard. So I would I would risk. 
trying to get a punch in while they try to kick me. I didn't care if they if they kicked me. But if you go back and watch my pride fights, people check people kicking me. I checked even with my fight with Fedor. I was fat, out of shape, everything unhealthy. He threw a kick at me. Oh, okay. Then he kept trying to throw a kick. And I checked that motherfucker. And you go back, watch that fight. It hurt him. He stopped and he stopped kicking me. He looked at me. I looked at him like, yeah, he stopped kicking me. I know how to check kicks. If somebody don't kick hard, I'll take them. Cause in and like I don't give a fuck about myself. I don't I'll take pain. I don't give a fuck. But them motherfucking kicks don't hurt. In the UFC, yeah, so they, they wasn't they game wasn't plan, And in Jones game plan, they was both attacking you there. Yeah, you Jones know, was kicking so my heavy. Jones. Yeah, Jones you're was heavy kicking me. to build your power. Yeah. Jones on kicking that. that Jones kicking the leg that that, yeah, that knee back. That's like really keep you off your power. So yeah, you that's hard to train to for. Hit him. But I I've and been, he's safe from keeping you way out there. Yeah, yeah. Way over there here. Yeah. He's safe. Yeah, uh, I've been fighting injured for the last couple of years, uh, last 10, 10 years, I was injured every fight. My knees was fucked, but I didn't want to tell nobody. I didn't want to say shit. If you go back and watch my fight with Rashad Evans, he he got word that I injured my knee again in in training for him, mm. and, he, and he was punching me in my so kneecap. So what I learned from Rashad, uh, mm. my little OGs and shit, I learned from Rashad is don't switch up your style. Mm. First, Rashad was nasty. If Rashad would get out there with you, then after he got slapped by Machida, he changed it just like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to be wrestling, fuck entertaining y'all. I'm just trying to win and blah, blah, blah. And I told myself, oh, nah, I was a big fan of you. And then I'm like, now nah, you you do a lot of like boring fights more so. Or I'm like, nah, I'm going not go. I'm going to go on my shield. I'm still kiss stay entertaining, not switch my style when you get knocked out. I was like, everybody's like, oh, he going to change up to get knocked. No, he did the same thing. Because why? I'm not gonna switch up. I feel like That's sometimes your, your coach, fans, your coach, your fans. I feel like sometimes your coach get in your ear, and your and some people are are like, especially wrestle. You wrestled in high school. You wrestle. You listen to your coach. That's what I do. I listen to my coach, and sometimes I be wanting to tell my coach like, man, that's not my style. And you guys really have it break it to him a certain way. But sometimes fuck your, that. I'm in control of this <laughs> controller. You know what I mean? You telling me do I get all that? And I'm listening, coach. Yes, sir. I'll be yes, sir. I'm not saying that's what happened with him, but, but yeah. that's what I, I would got like to believe. In my hand, yeah. You know. Like, I mean, I but when you get knocked, sometimes you, you get knocked out like that too. The game, if you ain't playing it, yeah. Sometimes when you get knocked out like that too. You get, you get like gun shy. I feel like so. Some That's people, you I'm gotta saying. have a strong Don't switch mind. up. Yeah. yeah, don't switch up. Now you can't be pussy. Now, bro, he got knocked out bad by Everybody Machida, liked though. you for this now, so you don't want to do that no more. Bro, bro he, he got, bro, bro, he got knocked out bad by Machida. That was a bad. That's what I'm saying. It's and it switches whole style. A lot of people don't even come back from knockouts like that though. My, did you, you uh, remember he was doing? Shield, you remember bro. he was doing the stanky leg, bro? I was on the shield like three times. But like you ain't that. never did the stanky leg though, man. Nah, Don't fault him for that, man. Uh, Rashad was God. bent up on the cage doing the stanky <laughs> oh leg, bro. You ain't never been knocked out like what that. What was he doing? What was Rashad doing? He, you don't remember that dance? Bro. The stanky well, leg. I've What's it called? Seen that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. Had that bro. I can't even. Bro, bro. It's hard. Bro, I got knocked out by Vanley. I was hanging on the ropes like this. Yeah, bro, man, was, still it, ain't switching up. Bro, fuck that. You fuck sometimes that. I, I, I didn't switch up. I see a fall. I'm I was like keep riding this shit out because why? Everybody, that's what everybody loved me for. I ain't finna switch up on but that. You part. never, you never been knocked out like that though. You, you yes. <laughs> Go do your homework. Yes. What do you mean he's never I mean, been knocked out? You didn't watch the Jalen Turner fight. Real, real no, he, wasn't not, he wasn't really out. He wasn't knocked no, out like that for Jalen. Jalen was the worst of all of them. Altered his whole career. He came back stronger than ever. Everything else was like a flash type thing. Then Jalen, I felt like it was in another world when he was hitting bam, bam. I felt like, where was I doing and where was I? You just like, unresponsive. You weren't, you weren't just though. like really unconscious. You just yeah. unresponsive. I, that happened to me when Vanley need me the 15 times. I just couldn't do nothing. My, my thought, I still remember what I was thinking. I was like, this nigga will get tired. Then I'm going to come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he never got tired. The referee just pulled him off me. The ref should have stopped that fight. We all know that. But the guy came back stronger than ever. And one thing Bobby knows, I keep it real. I hit him up, text him, call him, make sure he's here. Even said it this morning, like, one thing we love about Bobby, he keeps it 100. This is Bobby 24-7, seven, seven days a week, whether he won, whether he lost. He came here a week after the loss. He said, you know what? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out right now. Always a calm head, always a cool head. But most importantly, one thing that we love about Bobby here at Jackson is the respect. He shows everybody respect from the guy outside cleaning the, the trash cans to the fighters to the maintenance team. Like Bobby is is one of a kind. Same with Jalen Turner. Same with TJ Dillashaw. Everybody here at the Jackson House and the team that we assembled here to represent the brand cares about their craft, cares about the people around them. And that's why you didn't what makes say Luke, culture. Why you didn't say Luke Rockhold, though? Uh, yeah. Luke's an exception. <laughs> oh, God. Nah, come on. Luke's, Luke's a shit, good Luke's guy. Shit. Yeah. yeah, I know. You took He took Luke to, to Chinatown to go party. They went karaoke, carpool karaoke. They're, they're the whole way there. They're hammered. The whole way back, Luke's asleep. 
Rampage the only one away. And he felt the need to post it on his Instagram. But that's hey, that was our first hey, time that, hanging out. That's dry snitching. But listen, hey, we appreciate Bobby Green and everybody else who's been watching this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this amazing episode filled with nine blunts, our brand new Cuban eight millimeter. I ran chains. out of pegs. I you was ran like, out of fuck, ran God, out of God. God, I can't even breathe. Rampage Jackson, hundred pounds leaner, looking like a model. It's the best you ever look. It's phenomenal Let's to see you. Go. Hey. Everybody in the comments, make sure you guys comment. Rampage, keep training. Rampage, keep sparring. Because this guy's in the Jackson House every day sparring, he dropped 100 pounds. He could pull any girl he wants. That's why he's at Los Lagos eating chimichangas. He got the enchiladas everywhere. It was crazy. And that's it. I'm better to GDO. We out. <laughs>